the owner and artist of Upcycled by Brie, and I have today an Upcycled Vintage Auction. Every single item you see behind me was made by these two little hands, and I am so excited to show them off to you today. Now, I'm streaming on Facebook and YouTube. Y'all, I cannot see your comments, okay? I'm not going to be able to chat with you. And also, you can't see the fun chat here, and you cannot bid on these items, but if you click the little QR code or the link in the description box, you can come over to Whatnot and hang out with us. So as you hop in, say hello. I have a fun little giveaway tray here in front of us today. We're gonna get the show kicked off with a giveaway. I'm gonna pull up all of my devices and we'll get rolling. Y'all say hi as you hop on. Hello, hello. All right, I've got a couple of mods in the house today. I am going to turn them on now. Twin Mom Vintage, you are now one of my mods. Thanks so much. Again, no pressure. Hang out as long as you can. Y'all be sure to go follow my, my moderators. They are friends that I've made here on Whatnot that I trust very much to help me with the chat, help keep me under control. Go follow my mods, check out their shows. I appreciate it. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Lori. Hello, Cynthia. Hello, Lucy and Lisa. Good morning, good morning. All right. So let's get a giveaway started. We've got a few things to talk about. Now I'm running a giveaway. This is also your opportunity to get in a little self-promotion. If you've got shows coming up, drop them in the chat. And I'm gonna read over my show notes because there's a few. Um, if you don't have self-promotion to do, you can click on the little show notes sticky note up on the screen and see those as well. All right. First of all, welcome in. Welcome to a very special show. This is an upcycled vintage show. I've got a few other people I know that are doing these shows. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But y'all, if you are a maker and you like to upcycle and do thrift flips, this is a category, the artisan home goods category that y'all need to check out. It is time to grow this category. Us makers are here and it is time to show up and show out on whatnot. So thanks so much for being here. Um, everything behind me is already listed in the auction section. What does that mean? That means you can click the little store right down here, go to the auction tab and see everything I have listed behind me and you can put your custom bids in. If there's something that seems very special and you really want, you can put your custom bids in. If you make a $100 custom bid and the second highest bid next to you is only $35, your winning bid will be 36 it won't be 100 but you can top it out as high as you think it's worth to you in case you need to run and go run errands or something so i just wanted to go over those things i know these auctions are new to a few people um, again facebook youtube if you're just hopping on click the qr code or the link and come hang out on whatnot i cannot see your comments um, bookmark future shows i have coming up there is another show next sunday and i want y'all to do me a favor real quick go to next sunday's show it is a vignette raid train. I'm not the host, but I was sick when they made it. So I get to kick it off because there were no slots left. And I'm honored. Jen's Cottage um, was our host on that raid train. So she'll be right after me. I have one thing listed in that auction. And I want y'all to see the kind of instant vignettes that I'm going to be bringing to the show. I have it set up here. We'll look at it later. But y'all can go check it out and get pre-bids on that as well. Um, let's see, I have another raid train coming up. It's all books, so make sure to bookmark that show. Follow me on all social media. If you all haven't, I'm on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, so y'all can see me shop for these things, flip these things before I bring them to auction. Um, all tips between now and March 24th will go towards my birthday thrifting trip. Thank y'all so very much. Um, and then I'll bring all those amazing items right back here to you. You can always feel free to promote yourself and dream giveaways. And also please remember, bid responsibly, no cancellations. Two minutes left, but we're going to go ahead and um, set this to the side just a second. We're gonna kick this show off with a $1 auction. We're gonna do it. The sticky note's missing. Um, it's there for me. Um, why don't you go out of the show and then come back in? Sometimes whatnot kind of glitches with the sticky note. Welcome in, everybody. Oh, and we have a $50 Visa gift card giveaway at the end of the show today. Thank you to whatnot. Say thank you, whatnot. <laughs> they are so excited about this new upcycled vintage category that they 
are giving us a fun giveaway. Okay, I'm trying to find one thing that still is at a $1. Okay, so I made some fun carrots. I know we've seen a lot of carrots around here lately, but I made some really fun wood chippy ones. So we're gonna start our show off today with a $1 start. These are little chair pieces, bed posts, whatever you wanna use, spindles, and they got some good chippy milk paint and I added some little greenery to the top. So if you are a maker, you guys can always, always recreate these items you see and I would love if you did. All right, let's pin there at the bottom of the screen and each time you guys see something, I will be sure to put it in a little bag with your name on it when you win these auctions. Most things should have a picture today. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start the auction today. 175 people in the room. I appreciate y'all being here. And as I get these auctions rolling, I'll get caught up on comments. So our little a chunky carrot chippy spindle is running. And we got about, what, 25 seconds left on that giveaway if you wanna hop in. All right, hey Lacey, is Dee with you? Tell him I got my drawing and my daughter is here this weekend and she thinks he did an excellent job. All right, Deanna, you kick our auction off today. The first wooden spindle carrot goes to you, my friend. This one is chippy and good. $5 on that spindle carrot. He is. Dee, thank you for the picture. I got it. And Lacey, your, um, your picture frame came in perfect condition. All right, Flirty Bird Vintage, thank you so much for being here. You win our first giveaway today, and you get to pick between all of these little goodies. How fun is this? I have a set of spindles. I have the little vintage math card here. I have a mushy. I have some little baby plastic bunnies, bingo cards, or a thread spool. Um, and then if y'all could help me look for the answer, that would be lovely. There's lots of comments rolling in. Yay, Dee, thank you. Y'all want to see this? I bought something from my friend Lacey. The bunnies. A flirty bird vintage wins the gibby of the little baby bunnies. Y'all, these bunnies I have available in my buy it now section. There's a set of four. They're just little plastic guys. Y'all go check out the buy it now. There's brand new stuff in there today. All right, Dee, come look at the camera real quick. They're teeny. They're like an inch and a half tall. Y'all need them for your book vignettes. Don't sleep on that bite now section. I finally put new things in there. All right, Dee, look. I'm going to show your artwork. Y'all, Dee drew me a picture of Maisie. What do you guys think? Put some hearts on the screen. Double tap that screen. Send up some love. He was feeling a little impatient one day and he needed something to draw. And I said, please draw me Maisie. And he did so, so good. D, look at all those hearts. <laughs> Yay. So stinking cute. He did amazing. All right, let's get this giveaway tray out of our way. I'm a poet already today. Oh my gosh, it just kept rhyming. Don't do that. Let's kick off another item here. All right, y'all have seen these if you've been following me on Facebook and YouTube for a while. I have made these before. These are old light cage covers. You know, maybe grandpa or dad had some out in the shop um, over their lights. I find them every once in a while, rusty crusty in the bins or at the antique malls. And I like to buy them and put little bird nests in them. Now all I have to do is remember what I called it so I can pin it. 73 items preloaded in this auction, you guys. Woo! -wee! All right, let me find it. We'll pin it. I think my iPad might be on its last leg, but I've got my computer here, so have no fear. No fear, no fear. Let me know. Drop in the comments if you have seen me. There it is. We're pinning it. It does have a little interest, but no pre-bits. Drop in the comments if you've seen me make these. So you all could always hang this from a little bit of string in a vignette, but this one sits as well. So it would not need to hang. So good, rusty crusty. I did not glue anything in. Y'all can pop that out. We've got a little handwriting on the back here. 2H, holy, 
It was actually used in somebody's shop, right? All right, we're gonna start the auction today at $3. And the height on all of these items are in the description for you. It's a run-in. All right, got the excitement sniffles out of the way here. Y'all still hear just a little bit of that in my voice, I swear. This cold was ridiculous. Perfect rusty crustiness on this. What would you hang it from? Maybe like an old banana hook. That might be weird. You could make your own. You can just do a little square piece of wood and a spindle. A little cast iron hook hanging off of it. Make your own hanger for it. 90463, you won the auction on this little very rusty, crusty birdcage for $23. Thank you so much. It will be coming to you. Y'all, Melissa will be here tomorrow. We'll be shipping like crazy. Do I sign my artwork? Sometimes when people ask me, I will. Oh, Lacey said those greenery wrapped knobs, Brie. All right. So we have been obsessing over knobs here on Whatnot lately. We have, we have. But I wanted to do something just a little bit different. Lacey, you just reminded me too, this all goes in alphabetical order. I don't know why you reminded me, but it just made me think. <laughs> Most of us though, get the ones with the holes in the top so we can put the greenery inside. So I've been avoiding it. And now this round, all I could find were the tall ones. But all I did was just take the little wire, like with the floral on it already, and just wrap it up. We just wrap it up there. And then you get all that good rusty crustiness on it as well. So this is just a little different than the ones you guys have been buying from myself and my friends to pop into your vignettes. We do have one pre-bid of a dollar. Yes. Dollar starts today, y'all. There are some mixed in here. We're gonna run 30 seconds on this guy and it is a going. The riser you see it on is also listed in the buy it now section. There's a couple available. FYI, the more things you guys purchase, shipping will start going down. Um, it will combine it. You'll always be able to see shipping in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. What's everybody doing on a Sunday? Oh, you like this better than the other knobs? I think they're fun, right? Super fun. Just gotta find a little greenery that has the wire wrap in it. Blessed to be on first purchase, thank you so much. This one's coming to you for $15. Oh, it's a four. Darn it, your payment failed. So that happens a lot. Sometimes our bank thinks it's fraud. You're probably gonna get like a text message or a phone call, maybe an email here in the next couple minutes. All you got to do is approve that payment, and I will set this to the side momentarily while you work on that, okay? No worries. I have another one. I have another one. Ooh, I have one that's white. Who likes the white ones here? And the white porcelain bottom, and then I put a little bit of different greenery on here. So while we work out that other black knob, we will run this one instead. Oh, I put the numbers on the bottom. So smart. <laughs> it is pinned. There is one bit on it, so it will start off at a dollar and it will run now. So this one has a little bit of chippy white paint on it. So good. Rusty crustiness. Sorry about the green tape. Just so I can keep them apart there. There we go. Let's run a professional auction today. So happy yesterday, I found one ceramic insulator in a charity shop. Yes, in the UK, Mozzie, that is amazing. <clears throat> I actually found a couple more at the antique store this weekend. All right, Remy123, it takes this knob for $13. Thank you so much. All right, something a little different we haven't been seeing from me so much lately is a bed post piece. Y'all, I pulled all of the old salvage out of my website, off my website, 
because it was, you know, had been sitting there for a little while, inventory was getting kind of weird and just made up projects all weekend. This one has a little jello mold at the top. I added some of the Excelsior and a bird's egg. Now, I did glue a little of this stuff in this time, just a little tiny touch of hot glue. It could probably be taken apart um, and easily restyled if you wish. But when I'm making so many projects, I have got to glue some things in sometimes or it all just starts falling everywhere. Y'all feel me? All right, let's get, get this thing pinned here. And then I will check on that payment. What I call what I call this salvage nest post. There it is. <laughs> it's pinned, and it looks like it is 13 inches tall. So I have this one that is kind of a cream color, a little bit of chippiness here around the edges, and then I've got a couple other that have silver tops. This is the only one with the white on the top. All right, and this guy is running. Good luck. Blessed beyond, I see a couple of comments from you here. And let me try to get a closer look at them. This one does come with the little speckled egg. I've got the greenery and a cherry blossom inside as well. Ooh, Irish Lass got one of her boxes. She got two huge boxes coming her way. Um, Twin Mom Vintage, are you handling that pay, uh, pending payment okay, or do you need my help on that? I see it's still pending, less beyond, so let me know. I'm going to do my very best to keep up with comments today. All right, Millie Cat, uh-oh, you won, but your payment fell as well. Ladies, I know a lot of us did shopping yesterday on a very primitive raid train, so y'all go check your credit cards. Make sure you have the right payments. Okay, Millie Cat, I'm going to set this to the side. You let me know. I know you're a whatnot OG. I did a little shopping yesterday myself. I'm not even going to lie. All right, let's pick out one of these items. We have definitely got some pre-bids on. This one is just gorgeous. This is an upcycled cloche. And I have made many an upcycled cloche over my YouTube career. But this one is very special. It is on top of a bum foot that I thrifted right out of the Goodwill bins. I only found two. Okay, I only found two. And this votive holder fit perfectly on here. All this is is like a 1980s or 1990s candle votive holder. Clean it out, flip it upside down. It even has a knob finial top now. And you have an upcycled cloche. Um, underneath your cloche today, you're going to get a tiny little milk glass bottle. I have one of those ceramic insulators in here. And some floral. Definitely some free bids on this guy. Let me find it here and we will pin it. Um, also, when I am pinning items, that is going to let you see how much shipping is going to be. While they're pinned, you can get your custom bids in. You know what? Let me be a big girl here and try something new today. My computer's being, or my um, iPad's being super laggy. So let me try ugh, to pin items off my computer. I've got a very nice MacBook over here. And I don't like it. I don't like new things. Anybody else? Product actions. We're going to pin it. Okay, we did it off the computer. <laughs> All right, yes, it's pinned. It looks like seven pre bids. It's going to start off at $23. 30 seconds on the clock, and it is running. All right, I did it off my computer. Oh, so proud of myself. So here's my little setup here I got computer over here, and I got iPad over here. Oh, I just prefer the iPad, but it's okay. I think I'm going to be more efficient once I get the computer down. Y'all got to try new things. If you're having a hard time seeing what I'm showing, feel free to swipe your left on the screen. All that chat will disappear. Nope, didn't, didn't miss the flashcards. We haven't sold much yet. 
it's gonna be it's gonna be a minute we'll get there I will check in one a second, really, Kat. All right, Nan Bob, you take this beautiful upcycle cloche, one of a kind piece, handmade by me. Thank you so much for being here. $36, and this whole cloche and decor will be coming to you. Thank you so much. If y'all want a closer peek at what I have behind me, you can also go check the auction tab. I have pictures with everything today all preloaded up. Somebody said something about the flashcards. Um, I have got a couple of the little upcycled holders today. And today I have them hooked to bingo cards. Last time I had flashcards. But I think Vicki said she wanted some bingo cards. So I said, let me throw some of my bingo cards on here today. Never they're pinned. So this is just a little chunk of salvage. I drill it down. Blue strings are free. Freshly made this morning. <laughs> I chop it down. I drill a hole in it. Now these little holders I get off of Amazon and then you just cut off the bottom that they stand on usually. Poke it down in there. I popped in three bingo cards. So you'll get one stand, three bingo cards. This first one is going to run starting at a dollar and they are six inch tall on the stands here in case you need to know other options for this. You could put in old family photos. You could pop in business cards. You could put in vintage Easter postcards. How cute would that be? Y'all, as you start bidding on auction items today, check out my buy it now section, start combining items and get the most out of your shipping. Okay, now let me check that payment. Let's keep myself on track. Let's have some coffee. Millie Cat, your payment is good. Lest beyond, we're still waiting. No worries though. Let me know if you need my help, okay? That black porcelain knob is still set to the side for you. Looks like we have a little interest in these, so I will go ahead and run them all back to back today. We have more available, two more available. All right, and Deanna, you take the first one. Congratulations. All righty, I like it, I like it. I keep reverting, I keep reverting back to my iPad. Maybe I should just take it away. That would probably solve the problem, huh? All right, second one here is pinned. Again, the blue strings, it's free, they come right off. Oh, y'all are buying mystery baskets out of the bins. Thank you so much, I have small and medium available. They'll have five or 10 items, depending on which one you pick, for 25 and $50. They are so much fun. All right, 20 seconds, dollar start, it's running. Don't go to sleep, y'all go pour coffee. I know it's early for some of you. <laughs> this second salvage bingo card is running. So y'all do not throw your scraps away. If you're cutting up spindles and chair posts, bottom pieces, that's all that is. It's a little bottom piece. <coughs> Amazing. Stacy Matt, $8 on the second one. I love it. Vicki, yes, you said you wanted some bingo cards. Here they are. <laughs> I'm still on the iPad. It's fine. It's fine. We're just going to switch back and forth. No, we're not. No, we're not. All right. That's pinned. 20 seconds, dollar start. Last one for today. I can make more of these. Last one with the bingo cards today. It's running now. Last one running. 
Drop a comment in the chat of what you would display in one of these holders um, instead of the ideas that I gave. I said pictures, um, postcards, bingo cards, Stacy Matt. Whoo! I need an assistant. Where's my assistant at, y'all? Manifest Maria for me. Dee Dee's in the house. Hey, girl. Hey, $11. Last bingo card set is yours. Thank you so much for being here. Ooh, a birthday card. That would be good. Okay. I came up with a couple of new ideas, things I haven't, haven't made before. We've all seen these little rosettes, right? My One of my friends on here, Robin, Robin's Relics, made little cloche bases with these the other day. And I was like, oh, that's an amazing idea. I decided I was going to wrap a little bit of a vintage belt around the bottom and stick some floral in. This floral isn't glued in, so you can switch it out for the seasons. Other things you could stick in here as well, like some cute old, um, maybe like carpenter's pencils, a couple paint brushes, or you could grab some of those taller metal display rings, and then you could make these into photo holders as well. All I had were the little short ones, so they didn't stick up out of the fabric enough. You know what I'm saying? Um, but so cute. All right, Lacey, have an amazing day. Thanks for being here, friend. Tell those cows I said moo. So a little new design, never before seen. Y'all are seeing it. Y'all are seeing it here first. I have them in as rosette. There we go. Now it's pinned. There it is. They are six inches tall. There is one pre bit on this one, so it will start off at $3. Run for 20 seconds. And here it goes. Um, have you entered for the giveaway? So that will be an end of the show giveaway. Stick around to the end of the show and I will run a specific giveaway for that $50 Visa gift card. Thanks to whatnot. Jazz, isn't that cute? Just simple, just simple. And all I did was just use my staple gun. Very easy. And you know, if you don't like the way that looks, you could always cover that up with, you know, a little bit of paint, a little bit of green paint. If you didn't like the way it popped out, my industrial heart doesn't care. <laughs> Buddy Lane Vintage, thank you so much. You take this first one here for $13. I'm so glad y'all are liking my, my handmade items so far. All right, let's run one of our little instant vignettes. So the instant vignette craze here on Whatnot is taking off like crazy. Little bundle baskets, little instant vignettes. And I am here for it. Now, my instant vignette show that I have next Sunday is going to be a little bit different. I am not going to be doing a lot of these little book stacks because I have a lot today and a lot of sellers have been making them. I'm gonna bring something a little bit different to the table. So just keep that in mind. If you wanna see what I'm gonna be doing next week for Instant Vignettes, go check out that show and I have something listed up in the auction already. So in this Instant Vignette, you're gonna get this rusty, crusty, broken insulator, this rusty, crusty teal insulator, a bundle of three gray spools and I hit the mother load on antique books yesterday and I just bought a few for today I didn't even buy as many as I'm about to these are all over a hundred years old according to the section they were in but I couldn't find a copyright on this one Lucille is the name of the book it is good, it is a kind of a moody blue color. Great design on the spine and beautiful pages. So all things included in this little instant vignette, y'all can pop this right on your riser or your shelf. 
You don't even have to think about your decorating. I did it all there for you. All right, 30 seconds and it is running. Good luck. Again, the name of the book is Lucille. I don't see an age on it. It was in the section 100 years or older. Would you come and decorate my house? Man, I mean, if the price is right, I will, I will be on my way. It's okay, Mozzie. I'm so glad you found an insulator. All insulators are equal. First little instant vignette going now with $24. And it looks like Lisa takes it. Congratulations. Great pickup. Rusty, crusty, old goodness. All right, we're going to keep it all together here. <laughs> all insulators are equal. Store is loaded, including these risers, you guys. Thank you so much, Twin Mom Vintage, for being here and being my mod. Um, let's see, I've got other, a couple other people I should probably mod at this point. Jasmine, are you still here? Boom. Let me get you. Oh, you are modding for me already. Okay. Brie, someone wants to know more about the mystery boxes, what they might include. So think rustic farmhouse um, kitchen items, wood, metal. Every single one is going to have a basket. That's why they're called mystery baskets. Um, little spindles, maybe some thread spools. You might get a knob, um, floral. So things that I usually put together in a little instant vignette. Think about that. Books I include as well. If you read the mystery basket description, it should give you kind of a hint about what should be in there. Hope that helps. Do I have the black lantern today? Do you need it, Brenda? <laughs> oh, Brenda. Oh, Brenda. I was planning on doing that one Tuesday night. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, so much good stuff. So I've tied together some salvage pieces. Again, these are just old um, pieces of salvage wood that I had in my stash. This was a really, really good chippy chair. These were little leftover pieces that I have now taken and tied together with bits and parts out of my stash as well. So just little pieces of floral. This was some rope that I aged with some decrepit dust. I love to just tie them together, pop them in front of my little book stacks, in front of my risers, or hang them out of a basket. If you have a aux an auction, a booth, <laughs> or a retail space, these are great basket fillers. All right. 20 seconds and it's running. Tide salvage set number five, I do believe. Oh no, I hate scammers, I hate them. All right, and blessed be on, I'm still seeing that your pending um, payment has not gone through quite yet. So if you're still here, can you give me a little update about maybe what you found out? All right, and Chris takes this set for $9. Thank you so much, Chris. I'm so glad you're here today. Thank you for being here. One of my regulars. Okay, y'all. What's next? Let's do one of these pieces. So double tap the screen. Let me know if you have been here when I have used brass lamp pieces as floral bases. Mm -hmm. So I took a couple of those brass pieces that weren't super interesting and I gave them a rusted paint job. They are stunning. I have put in some beautiful flowers. They're just popped in there. Y'all already know the drill. You can totally take them out. Okay, so this item is pinned there on your screen. You can check shipping. What do we think about these flowers? Y'all, I got them at Dollar General. Dollar General. Hey, it sits there for us. 
All right, 20 seconds, starting the auction on this rusty, crusty goodness now. Measurements on this piece should be in the description for you. All right, see, they came from Dollar General. Aren't those amazing? All right, Nambob takes this one for $8. Congratulations. It looks like a bell. Oh, that's so smart. You could totally take the flowers out, add these to a rope or string, make big rusty crusty bells. I love that. Thank you so much, Nan Bob. All right. How about another one of these gorgeous items that I have pre-bids on? These were one of the first few things I made. If you'd like to make one for yourself, I sell all of the paint and products to do it, upcyclebybree.com. I have these in the buy it now section. Oh, that's crazy. Anywho, just saying. All right, so I've had these out since Monday. This is actually an old piece of a lamp part. Wood lamp, and I just buy the lamps usually for $5 a piece or so at the bins chop them into pieces, and then I give them a Brie rusty, well, this isn't rusty, but chippy paint job. I use a little bit of milk paint, a little bit of DIY paint, and then I use my jigsaw to hand cut rounds out of salvaged wood. Now this one has some pre-bids on all, already. Let's see here. I'll make sure I pin the right one. Yes, it looks so, so similar on here. Pre-bids already, it looks like up to $54. But with these risers, what you can do is take your little chocolate bunnies, by the way, these are also in my, my buy it now section, and you take your little insulators and stuff that you purchased, and you just start setting them all together on there. And before you know it, you have a whole little vignette on your riser. You know, of course, you could also use pillar candles and items like that. More traditional candlestick <laughs> accessories, but I like to put decor on mine. All right, we're going to start the auction. We're going to go ahead and run this one for 30 seconds. Make sure that everybody that got pre-bids in, no, actually I can't. It's going to run for 20 seconds. Hopefully they're here. All right, and it's running. Good luck, my friends. So I'll do a base coat of DIY paint. Usually I mix in some salt wash or baking soda and put that on as my base coat. I let that dry. It gives it some great texture. And then I use the milk paint over the top. Once the milk paint is dry, I hit it with a little bit of sandpaper and that creates that gorgeous chippy effect. Deanna, you won. You had the highest pre-bid and this is coming to you. Congratulations. I'm so glad you got it, my friend. $54. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's run these cuties right after that. And that will give me a chance then to catch up on comments. Okay. So these little insulators are knob and tube insulators. These sat outside at the antique store and got good and rusty. A little broken, I just popped some floral in them. They're cute. <laughs> Orange is tall with the greens. 20 seconds, dollar start, and they are running now. If you missed out last time, I think these are better. Okay. No lemons today, Val, but I am, I swear I'm looking. You love the bunny? Yeah, Art by Gigi. They were in the Buy It Now section. Are they gone already? I looked and I didn't see any for some reason. Okay. We can check. No worries. I 
I got this. Okay, bye now. Boom. Bunny. I, it says I have six available. I'm going to go ahead and pin them to the screen right now, Gigi. There you go. If you'd like to check out those plastic chocolate bunnies, they are pinned to the screen. I don't know, Jazz. What not glitch, probably. No worries. No worries. All right, so these sold. It's okay, Jazz. It's it's whatnot. <laughs> sometimes I put rabbit, sometimes I put bunny too. Oh my gosh. Okay, all the bunnies are selling. Oh, all the mini bunnies are going too. Oh, this is crazy. Now so many bunnies are selling, I can't even see who got the insulators. Okay, well, they're going to be sold out here in a second. Y'all stop buying stuff for a second so I can see. No, I'm just kidding. Don't. Go buy more. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how do people do this without a, without an assistant? Well, these are, there's a picture up, so I'll be able to tell, it's fine. Thank you to whoever won these and for however much you won them. Everybody went crazy on my bunnies. <laughs> Maria, I need a Maria. <laughs> Y'all, guess what I figured out how to do? I figured out how to make my own patina on brass. It's game over. It's game over, friends. I did that. If you saw my Saturday thrift haul, it didn't look like this. I did that. So I added a little patina to this knob. And I put in some cute little white flowers. I will read your chat in just a second once I can see once things start stop selling so quick. All righty, it's pinned, four inches tall. Floral is not glued in, so you can take it out and restyle as you wish. So we haven't been buying probably the plain gold ones, right? Because, yeah, they're kind of boring. They're not the porcelain ones. Well, I have a product that will give them patina now. So I will be picking up every single one I see. This one does have some pre-bids, it looks like. It's gonna start at $11. It's gonna run for 20 seconds, and it is a running good luck. Good luck, good luck. 185 people in the room. Thank you so much for being here. The secret, please. I got you. Pickle juice. Pickle juice will make that patina. That's wild. All right, Remy takes it. $17. Thank you so much. Oh, sorry, Kelly. I had um, the chocolate bunny pin so people could go buy it. How did you do that? Okay, hold on. Here's my secret. <laughs> Y'all, I'm giving away all my secrets, and next week everybody else is going to have patina grass here on whatnot. Are y'all going to steal my idea? It's okay. Screenshot it. It's on Amazon. So this is the product I use. Um, this is the product I use to make the rust, and this is just step three. Just step three, all by itself on the brass. We'll give it the patina. You're welcome. <laughs> Steal it. Steal the ideas. Do it. Do it. No, it's okay. That's what we're here for. We're here to inspire and create. And I could, I could be totally greedy and say, I'm not telling you. What's the fun in that? What's the fun in that? Okay, let's do another instant vignette.
This one has the brown bottle. And the little brass bird. Okay, I see it here. We're going to pin it. So in this instant vignette, we have a brown bottle. We have a gorgeous insulator. This one has metal all wrapped around it. It's rusty and crusty and broken. You're getting two wooden drawer knobs. You could always add a little floral into that one. Look at the green chippy. So good. You little sprigs of greenery, of course. And then look at the brass trinket bird. This item is pinned so you can see shipping. Also, there's a little button that should say custom bid. If you don't see the button that says custom bid, just click right there where it says instant vignette at the bottom and it'll pull it up to where you can custom bid. Little trinket box. Oh my gosh. The blue eyeballs. And then this one comes with three books. The Man Without a Country. And this is copyright 1891. Wait, copyright 1898. 1898 by Little Brown and Company. So we have a very old book here. It's got some great staining there on it. Beautiful spine, beautiful pages. This one was a paperback. Looks like that didn't make it. The spine is gone, or um, the covers are gone, but the spine on this one actually has like recycled book page on it, which I thought was great. So we just turned this into our little um, decor stack. And then the book on the bottom is actually still in really great condition, 101 Famous Poems. So this one I would actually probably take off of my vignette and probably stand up on the shelf behind it just like that, just to add a little extra height and interest. Me personally, but again, y'all can take these apart and restyle them all you want. I usually include so many little items, you could take them apart and make a couple little vignettes. Okay, so this one is pinned. Let's get it running. It's gonna run for 20 seconds and it had a couple pre-bids starting at $16 and it is running now, all items included. If y'all are loving these, be sure to check out my next couple of raid trains. Next Sunday, I'll be on uber early, 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, but it'll be worth it, I promise. And it'll be all instant vignettes, but I only have half an hour. So everything will be preloaded this week. will be pretty quick, but they're gonna be really special because I'm not gonna overload it with a ton of little ones where I have to go, oh my gosh, here's all these things, here's all these things, blah, blah, blah. it'll be big and like very special. So I can be like, look at this beautifulness and take my time. $39, Dee Dee, thank you so much. This little instant vignette is heading your way and this has Dee Dee written all over it, for sure. It's next week already, Alicia. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I'm running four auctions or four live sales this week and four live sales next week, but it's fine, it's, everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> no, I'm happy to be here. I'm so thankful. So thankful. Diddy won the insulators also. Thank you, my dear. They were, um, do have a picture, so I'll be able to tell, but thank you. I appreciate you keeping me on my P's and Q's. Okay, now I have a question. So now that I've had so many sales, okay, so actually sold, I can search sold. I want to see if that black porcelain knob sold real quick before I go too much further, just to keep myself on track. Okay, no, it still isn't in the sold, so it's still pending. I haven't seen any comments. Oh no, Remy's on free shipping already. Let me, Remy, you better go um, to the buy it now, right now. Just load it up, girl. <laughs> I won't get run down. You know what? I have got, um, I've got a shipper, Becky. Thank you for looking out for me. You are one of my internet mamas and I appreciate you. My shipping guy will be here to help extra. All right. Another item with pre-bids. This wooden duck was up on my site. It didn't sell. 
So it came down and it got that same beautiful chippy paint job. Alicia sold one yesterday that was like authentic antique. This one is not. This is a Brie antique. We call it a Brie teak. I did not paint the bottom of it. That way that really textured paint won't scratch up your furniture or you won't get chippy paint, you know, like on your surface. All right, let's look for our duck here. Let's get it pinned. I know there were some pre-bids on it. It's up to $26. It is pinned. It's 17 inches long, five inches tall. And this little greenery just, I slid in there for some extra, but the best chippiness is actually right there. If y'all want to know how to recreate this finish, follow me on YouTube. Upcycled by Brie, Chippy Paint. A ton of videos will pop up. You can get all the paint products I show you how to use on my website. So fun. if you're sleeping on those other social media platforms, do not. All right, we're going to start the auction. 20 seconds. It's going to go fast. Here we go. Good luck. A Brie Teak original. What would y'all put inside here? I was also thinking a book would look really cute. A couple of books stacked up. I heard they were for like polish brushes for shoes. But I don't know. You tell me. Ooh, Mariah just grabbed some dictionary pages from my buy it now section. Y'all are going to be doing all the crafting. Ooh, the spindle carrots inside would look amazing as well. <laughs> All right, and Hilda and Wins, thank you so much. $46 on the Brie Teak Duck. I appreciate you so much. All right, let's do another one of our rosettes. This one is a little bit different. I used some like, oh, kind of reminds me of a grain sack almost. And this is just a roll of like burlap. I don't even remember where I got it. I've had them so long. This one got a little white flower and a little greenery. Y'all, I found brand new threshold greenery stems in the bins with tags. They cost me probably a dollar a piece. So happy. All right, now's your chance to grab those pre-bids on this item. We're gonna run it for 20 seconds and it is going. There's some great age and patina on this wood. There's also a few holes in this one. Oh my gosh, I'm covering up the best side on that one. <laughs> some holes in this one, the crusty goodness. I almost painted these, but the wood was so good, I couldn't. And they'll sit up in your vignette, little shelf sitter, however you want to style them. All right, $15. Thank you so much, Kay Barbara. The Brie Teak Duck went more for more than the Antique Duck. Oh my goodness. Well, that's kind of sad. I wanted to bid on that duck, dude, but I had to sit on, I just called you dude. We know it's serious. I had to sit on my hands by the end of the day. And by the way, who is the host of that raid train? Because I would really appreciate an invite to the next one. Y'all left your girl out. Nobody told anybody. You don't know anybody told Brie about this one. I'm just kidding. I'm not offended. I am not offended. All right, we've got another instant vignette. Let's do it. I think the bunnies are sold out now. I think the chocolate bunnies are sold out now, so here's your opportunity to get one. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I sure appreciate it. Are you getting feedback? Is my computer, hello? Let me figure that out. I want the music on, but not my whatnot. How do I, how do I mute my whatnot on here? Oh, here we go. Y'all, we're learning all the new things. Okay. So this item is pinned. You get the chocolate bunny, the plastic chocolate bunny. You get a little antique jar of floral. And then look, this is a little piece of brass lamp salvage. And it makes it the perfect egg holder. Ah! Y'all feel free, screenshot that, copy that idea, 
Let's do it. Let's do it. You could add some really cute little greenery around the bottoms of them too and make them fancy or like a little bit of lace and make them shabby. If you don't like the rusty crusty, you could paint the brass salvage. All right. So the books on here, we have drag Harlan. Copyright 1921. Got some great pages in it. Here's the front cover. Our spine. Our back. And our pages. And then our second book, Six Feet Four. Copyright 1917. Here's our pages. Here's our cover. Our spine. Oh, on the good pages. Okay. All items, one money. It is pinned, so you should be able to see shipping. So cute. I love these two book colors together. The two books and then the bunny on the accent with the little pop. Oh, oh, oh it's perfection. And I don't even love pink. All right. Starting 20 seconds. Look alive. It's running. I asked on Facebook what um, their favorite vignette was, and this one was the number one choice. So you'll be getting two books, one bunny, our egg on salvage, and a jar of floral. All items, one money running now. I'll be on for just a bit, Jazz. Yeah, I don't have a super huge show today, but, you know, I'm talking a lot. All right, $30 and a Wicked Wandora. Wicked, Wicked Wand, Wicked Wandora. 66, thank you so much for being here. This vignette will be coming to you. Okay, let me give you one-on-one -on -one attention real quick. Facebook and YouTube, if you're just hopping on, there's probably a QR code over my face somewhere. Sorry about that, that you can click on um, or screenshot hop on over to whatnot. There's also a link in my description box, community tab, and um, on my main page on Facebook. There are links if you haven't signed up for whatnot where you can get $15 to come and shop. So come join us if you haven't. And then also, whatnot, have I missed any requests, any comments, any concerns? I have, you have my full attention. Thank you for sharing the show out. I appreciate it. Have I missed anything? I do my best to keep up on comments. Okay, nobody's saying nothing now. Cool, cool. Ooh, let's look at one of these. I feel like it's gonna fall if I take one. Please don't fall, please don't fall. Here is another new design. Any mini bunnies in the show? My Buy It Now sold out. I've got one in a cloche. Y'all, I will see if I can find more of those bunnies, all the bunnies, before Tuesday, okay? Oops, somebody just grabbed a riser. Another new idea for y'all. I found these in the bins a couple weeks ago, and the gentleman next to me looked at me like I was crazy when I grabbed them. I don't care. These are so cute. These are for the garden, right? You put your little votive holders, or uh, I've seen, like, I've seen them hold, like, tiki torch top things, whatever. I have a giant brown insulator. We've all been seeing these all over whatnot. I have just flipped it upside down. Now, I put a little bit of floral in here. I glued it in, but just barely. Just enough hot glue to hold it for the show. Okay, y'all can pop that right out if you want. And you can put a succulent in here. You could put some little fairy lights in there. Is that not adorbs? Uh, doors. Let me find it and we'll get it in. I think it's at the very bottom. I've got two available today. It's 27 inches tall to the top of the insulator. And again, you could always take this out, style it somewhere else. If you don't want the flowers in, you could easily take them out and use your insulator elsewhere. But I love this idea. Stick them out of a crock, stick them out of a potted plant. 20 seconds and it is running. All right, I'm gonna hold it back here 
so I don't drop it. Kind of heavy. <laughs> kind of heavy. The insulators alone, I usually sell for $6. So if somebody's about to get a steal of a deal on this. And you'll get the little rusty, crusty wire holder for your garden as well. Little greenery included. The chocolate bunnies, I do appear to be sold out, yes. I will look for more though. I will look for more, y'all. I think I've, I, I've got one more bunny sitting back here. I was going to save her for an instant vignette. Should I sudden death her? Should we get crazy? I will. Y'all want to get crazy? I'll sudden death a bunny. Let's do it. Keisha Baker, $17. Thank you so much. This first one's coming to you. All right. I'm going to run the second one in case I see there was a couple of other bids against it. And then in case um, Kay would like a set of two, okay? And then we'll sudden death the last bunny. I'm sorry. It's not as bad as it sounds, okay? He's back there like shaking now. It's going to be okay, bunny. All right. Upcycled Garden Steak is going to run for 20 seconds. And it is a going. So if you would like a set of 2K, here is your chance. If you missed out on the first one, this is the last one I had. I don't know if I'll find any more of these at the bins. If I do, I'll definitely grab them or at the thrift. And I will grab more insulators when I'm in Topeka again. I want some for my own house. And you know what? Y'all be so proud of me. I kept several things for myself this time. Okay, Sudden Death Bunny coming up next. Y'all get ready. Y'all get ready. I'm going to enter it. We're up to $25. Second Chance Bunnies is in the house. Hey, girl. You take the second upcycled insulator. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Y'all get your little bidding fingers ready. One more bunny left. I was going to save them. Whew. We're going to start them at a dollar. All right. How do I do sudden death on it? Auction category. Wait for it. Wait for it. The suspense. Confirm. Product actions. Pin. Product actions. Oh, I don't know if I know how to do sudden death. Never mind. I don't know how to do it on there. Hold on. Wait for it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to figure out how. We're going to try. Here we go. I know how to do it from my iPad. Okay, wait for it again. Cue up the suspenseful music. Oh boy. All right. We're going to go 20 seconds. Dollar start. Sudden death. It's not as bad as it sounds. On the very last bunny. Ah! It's pinned. There's your chance. Get your custom bids in. This is crazy. Six inches tall, about, he's about mm, five inches wide from his toe to his tail. Ah, it's crazy out of control, 20 seconds out of death. Starting now. Go. Now, all sudden death means is no time will be added at the end of that 20 seconds. Custom bids are the best way to go because whatnot will do the bidding for you. I'm just going to take it down. Ah, sudden death. Usually I run sudden death on accident and I'm, I'm mad about it. It's exciting. And Glenn, she takes it. Good job. Last chocolate bunny, $17. I appreciate you. That was a fight. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. 
Okay, y'all. But I have a real serious question real quick. Oh, I was like, where did I put my coffee? It's back here in this crate. That was a dumb place for it. You picked up a chocolate bunny from Walmart? Nice. It probably wasn't $17, was it? <laughs> okay. This gal, that um, payment failed. She's gone. She hasn't responded. This didn't sell. Girl, if you're here, last chance to say I'm here, blessed beyond. If not, we're going to rerun this guy. It's got pre-bids on it now since it failed. So blessed beyond. Yep. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right, this black porcelain knob is the only one I have with a gorgeous rusty top. It is wrapped upwards with the greenery. It just has a little bit of wire in it. A little bit different than what I normally do. It has pre-bids $15. We are going to run for 20 seconds. Oh, error starting. Burp, 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 burp. Okay, watch this. Watch this whatnot. We're going to quick add this guy again. I feel like whatnot is too, is not quite smart enough to do that now that it failed. Give me just one hot second. We're going to add it in. Because there was lots of interest in it. I'm just going to say black knob, home decor. We're going to start it at a dollar like it did before. Cool, cool. Confirm. Boom. Oh, it really is easier from the computer. All right, so there it's pinned. I'm going to do this again. Huh, solving problems on a live. I love it. Five inches tall to the top of its greenery. Dollar start, 20 seconds, and it's running. Let me get this with this instant vignette before I forget. I just love stacking my decor so much on books. I forgot those books were there for a second. All right, this black knob is running again. What's everybody up to this afternoon? It is gorgeous here. We had snow the other day. And then it is like 60 today. Welcome to the Midwest. Welcome to the Midwest. Rusty Krusty, the only black porcelain knob of the show that I have. I have a little tape on there with the number, but it is in great condition. Y'all know I'm obsessed with black decor. If you buy multiple items, there's definitely a discount in shipping. You'll always see how much shipping will be for you at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Hi, Suzanne. I see you. Thank you for the coffee you bought me before the show. Um, and then the more items you buy, it will start discounting shipping. So that discount, that rate down at the bottom will go down, down, down until it says free. Now, the other thing is once you hit discounted and free shipping, that's a great time to click on my little store right here and click on the buy it now section. It's loaded up with salvage wood dictionary pages, crafting supplies. And since you've already unlocked free shipping, you might as well shop a little bit more and utilize that free shipping. It's girl math. Yeah? Okay. Um, some of the items I have right now in the buy it now section look like this. Gorgeous, gorgeous options. I have taken some of my old salvage wood and we have just tied it up and added a little bit of floral. Of course, y'all can take these apart. These here, right? If you cut them in half, make great little herb. Um, markers. You put like, you know, rosemary, sage, basil um, with your stencils, or you could just leave them tied up like this and stick them in a basket. Anyways, buy it now is stocked with things like that. I've never had that salvage wood in my buy it now section before, but I figured for this show of Cycle Vintage, we needed to. Um, yes. And then if you purchase something from buy it now and the auction items, it will combine. It's okay, it'll still combine, okay? It'll still combine for you, I promise. Whatnot is very smart when it comes to shipping. 
All right, let's run these little cutie pastels. I don't have a lot of pastels today. I wanted to do a lot of Brie vibes. I don't decorate with a lot of pastels, but I had these three eggs. I just set them atop some random salvage wood and added a little bit of floral to them. There is one pre bit on them. So they will start at a dollar. They are pinned at the bottom of your screen for you. And they'll run for 20 seconds. Here we go. Easter colors. These little random blocks of wood came out of the Goodwill bins. I don't even know what the heck they were. Kids toys maybe? Not sure. <laughs> Okay, any other questions? Can we add paint and products at the end? So unfortunately, the paint and the products are all over here on my main website because we can't sell paint on whatnot. But I've been talking with my rep, y'all. I'm trying, okay? I'm telling my rep, my DIY paint is all natural. It's water-based. Um, you know, Miss Debbie Beard gave me the blessing to sell it here on this platform. She's the owner of DIY Paint Company. She said, yeah, Brie, go for it. As long as you're selling it at the price you're supposed to be selling it at in the buy it now section, no problem. And then I figured out we can't sell paint here. But I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it. Double tap that screen right now in case my rep's watching. And let me know if you want me to be able to sell paint here on whatnot to you guys. Wow. That's a lot of hearts. It's a lot of hearts going up. All right, y'all. I hear you. I'm working on it. $15, Trisha Baltzer. Thank you so much. These little cute eggs are coming to you, my friend. <laughs> All right, let's do a fun you pick round. I'm not, I don't have a lot of you pick today, so we're not going to get too crazy, okay? But I put together um, these little randos before the show with pieces of a chair. I've got several different sizes and florals available. So I'm going to add a couple to the screen. And let's run these guys a few times in case somebody wants to put together a couple of cute little sets. What do we think? These remind me of like everybody's been sticking florals on top of um, bobbins. If you can't find bobbins or spools, just cut apart your chair spindles. So let's do, Let's do three at a time on the screen so we don't get too confused. But just know there's lots of little options here, so I'll just keep adding some. But if you want to put a set together, pay attention for a few rounds here. My hair is, is just being crazy and out of control. I even tried to curl it so it wouldn't be crazy and out of control. I'm not sure it helped. All right, we're gonna pin the item. So there's 13 of these little, I think, yeah, 13 of these little pieces available. We'll run a few rounds, we'll see what the interest is. And a couple of them I have stuck in the little vintage card holders, and then the flowers are just in the back. And I just drilled multiple holes in them so I could stick several different things inside. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put these three up first. There's three different sizes and styles here. All right, dollar start, 20 seconds, and this is running. These are like two inches. This is like seven inches. That's like four inches. And I'll have some more little ones I'll replace as you guys start buying them down. Make sense? Whoever wins this first round gets to pick first. Two, seven, three. Okay, I was in the chop on a couple of them. <laughs> All right, LSQ, would you like one, two, or three? Number one, amazing. All right, let's replace that one with the other short one. And it's running, oh wait, oh shit. It's not running. Hold on, this is running. I have pre-bids on this guy. Sorry, run next is the devil. Okay, Barbara's winning. <laughs> so sorry. I told you about this one earlier. This is its little friend. So short. My bad. All right, Deanna, you take that one. I bet you had a high pre-bid on that one too. So now you got us it, girl. I ain't mad at you. $43 on this one, 54 on the other one. Heck yes. Thank you so much. 
I'm so glad you were here and paying attention. Whew, y'all gotta, y'all gotta look alive on my auctions. <laughs> okay. Let's fix this. LSQ. LSQ, this is coming to you. Pin this item again. All right, y'all alive now? Y'all, y'all woke up? You pick minis. Dollar start. 20 seconds. Running now. <laughs> Woo! That woke me up. I had to figure out what I was running all of a sudden. I'm sweating now. <laughs> Whoever wins this round will get to pick between one, two, and three. Chris is in on it. I scared you. I'm sorry, Deanna. I am so glad you're here. That's that's a true auction person right there. Auction fan, auctioneer. I'm the auctioneer. Are you an auctionee? That's a true auctionee right there. That doesn't sound right. MD Hopper <laughs> takes this round. Oh my goodness. MD Hopper takes this round. It's okay. Run next is all right. Um, and MD Hopper, you take this one, $11, one, two, or three. Chris, you said number two. Um, Chris, are you confused or what's up? Because I'm confused. Did you think you won it? I think my chat might be a little behind too. All right, MD Hopper, one, two, or three. Number two, and then Chris, just in case there was confusion and you thought you might have won that one, I will add another one in. That looks like number two did previously. Okay, let's run a couple more rounds of this and then we'll switch it up. You pick minis, we're not gonna do run next. Dollar start, 20 seconds, it's going. You get to pick between one, two, or three. <laughs> oh my goodness. And you know what's funny? My preteen is, I'm pretty sure, still asleep through all of this. We stayed up way too late last night watching a movie and hanging out. Um, and, of course, she gets to sleep in, and Mom did not. In fact, I woke up this morning and made this. Y'all want to see this next? Double tap the screen if you want to know what this is next. All right. Chris is in on it. Chris said I did. I did want that second one, Bree. Will you take it, Chris? Three seconds, two seconds. All right, Chris, you got this round and I'm assuming you went to number two. I'm glad you got, glad you got it. Kim said, yes, girl, I've been waiting. Number two, yes, thanks. All right, Chris, glad you got it. Um, if y'all are watching on Facebook or YouTube, please remember I cannot see your comments. I'm so sorry. Wish I could, but come over to Whatnot, and I can, and you can hang out and see the chat and bid on things with us. Okay. Let me know if you were here a couple of weeks ago when I had a you pick auction that had baskets in it, and I had those beautiful antique grain scoop, grain elevator scoops, and nobody wanted them. And basket rounds were going and winning for like $7, I think. And nobody were, nobody was picking these. And I said, that's fine. I'll upcycle them. Well, I've got two available. They are both on the exact same piece of wood. I have D rings in the back and they're not crooked. I promise that one to put those up. <laughs> D rings in the back. So they will hang very securely. They are screwed on. And then I just have a piece of that beautiful, like, I don't know. What is this? Bur burlap runner ribbon we're gonna call it on the back okay so i'm gonna pin this i don't know if um there are any pre-bids or not i have two available now here's the thing okay there both of them have pre-bids i have two available i haven't put the second one together because i ran out of the right size of screw i ordered the screw on amazon Okay, they're coming in. The second one, the buckets will look like this, okay? So obviously the bucket patina is gonna be just a little bit different, but the wood and the ribbon and everything, D-rings exactly the same. 
even the wood. I had two pieces exactly the same. And I think that by now y'all kind of know my standard of, of things and you can trust me enough to know I'm going to put the second one together and it's going to look like this. Okay. <laughs> Just going to be a little different on the um, scoops. So we're going to run this first one. I'm going to run the one that has the higher pre-bid since it's the one in the picture. Okay. Has six pre-bids. It's going to start at $15. Handmade by Brie Peace. And these are 19 inches tall, 11 inches wide. You can put whatever you want in them. I like to throw greenery in, a little tea towel, hang them up in the bathroom, put your little lotions. Um, I did put just a clear coat over these grain buckets. If you wanted to um, brush on more of a clear coat, that is up to you. But I just did like a Rust-Oleum matte clear over the top of them. Okay, here we go. Starting our auction. It's only going to run for 20 seconds. And we're off to the races. Good luck, my friends. I do have two available. This is the first one running. If we got it, could you do the second without ribbon? Um, simply shenanigans, when I run the second one, if you win and you don't want the ribbon, I got you. On this one, I'm not, I can't take it off, but on the second one, possibly. All right, we're up to $73. K Byers wants this. He said, girl, I've been waiting, I'm here. And K Byers takes it, thank you so much. An upcycled by Brie original coming to you. You want me to sign it? I have a Sharpie here. It's blue. I don't have to though. I mean, like if you don't want Sharpie on your wood, I don't, I won't be offended. Oh, can we bid on just the scoops? Um, uh, no, not those, just not those two scoops. You can't. <laughs> those two scoops you can't, but stay tuned for just a second. I had a lot of interest on that one. I'm going to go ahead and run the second one, okay? So this will be the second one. I'm going to pin it. It does have two pre-bids. Um, Brittany, Jane, I will check my messages after the show. These are going to be the two scoops. The wood will be the same. And I, the, the burlap will be the same. Now I just had a question that said, if I win the second one, can I do it without the ribbon? And I'm cool with that. So if that was you and you win, just remind me, okay? Same wood, same ribbon. These will be your two scoops. We're going to start the auction, 20 seconds. Last one I have, that'll be like this. And the second one is running, good luck. It'll look just like this with these two scoops. First one went for almost $75. I love these, you guys. I have some more scoops, but I was going to keep them and make this for myself. <laughs> should I sudden death a set of two scoops? Double tap the screen if I should sudden death a set of two scoops after this. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Moth and time is in on it. Hey, thank you so much for being here and shopping with me today. We have four seconds left. We're up to $66 on the second one. And Moth and Time takes it down. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay, stay tuned. Stay tuned. are stuck together. Let me make sure I can get them apart before I sudden death them. Vicki, it's hard, but you know what? Here's the thing. I know where to get more of these. These still have the leaves in them and everything. I'm 
my little, oh, there we go. Whew. I figured if I did it on camera, I'd feel more pressure and actually get it. My little hands are tired from crafting all weekend. Okay, here's the two that I have for sudden death. These are just a little bit different. Y'all still want me to run them though? The only difference on them, whoa. I mean, the, the patina is a little bit different and um, they don't have like, you know, quite as much detail on them. Should I still set in depth two of them? Yes, yes, I see the hearts. Okay. Oh, I'm wiping my rusty hands on my light jeans. These aren't clear coated. <laughs> All right, let me quick add them. Two rusty grain elevator scoops. Oh, wait, I don't know how to do sudden death on there. Hold on. Hold, please. Y'all are so patient. Two scoops. All right, we're gonna go 30 seconds, sudden death on the two scoops, the popcorn emojis, I love it. It's pinned, okay? Let me grab you some measurements in case you have a piece of wood in mind. So these are nine inches wide, they are five inches tall and they are about six inches deep, okay? They've got four holes in them where you can attach them. Good, rusty, crusty patina. The leaves, those are free, okay? No extra charge, no worries. You're welcome. Twenty seconds. No. Yep. 20 seconds. You got 20 seconds is enough time to custom bid. 30 seconds is too long. 20 seconds sudden death ready now. Good luck. Two antique grain elevator scoops for your own DIY projects. No more time will be added. Seven seconds. Who's going to take them? Chris is winning. Three, two, one. Oh. Simply shenanigans hopped in last second. Congratulations, $39 on the set of two. That leaves me just enough to make myself one set and then I can look for more when I go back to Topeka. <laughs> All right, friends, thank you so much. I love it, I love it. Can you please run the shoe form next? I have to get back to work. Yes, 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 yes. All right, another instant vignette request from one of my VIPs. Anything for you, Miss Kim? <laughs> oh man, this will give me a second to come down from the sudden death high. I'm gonna pin this sucker here. So we have another instant vignette. This one comes with a gorgeous rusty crusty bottle. Look at that amazingness. This porcelain knob is everything. My favorite one yet. This one does have the hole, so I just stuck the greenery in it. It's not wrapped. You have the child shoe form with the markings, the stamping, the good patina. This one could take some floral or a Christmas tree as well. And we have two books. We've got a green book called Overland Tourist. It is amazing inside. Copyright. This was in the over a hundred year section too. I don't see a copyright on it. Great pages, great spine. And then here's another paperback that's just missing its covers with its good papery patinaed spine. So all items, one money, it is pinned. I am going to hit run and I'm gonna wash my rusty, crusty hands. Start auction, 20 seconds. 
and it's running. Good luck. I'll be right back. Been enough so I can get my hands washed. Did I make it? Three seconds left. Junkin is fun. Takes this one down for $19. Oh, Kim, you mean the plain shoe form. I was like, why isn't Kim bidding? Junkin is fun. Thank you so much. You take the vignette with the child's shoe form. And now, Kim, I will run the other shoe form. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you here? <laughs> Hanging. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. It is pinned. So these are actually shoe stretchers. Let me get this one out of the way. Thank you so much, Junk. It is fun. <laughs> that was a good pickup for 19. These are actually shoe stretchers. I was corrected. I think Debbie was like, three. These are shoe stretchers. And you can add them into your shoes to make them wider if you've got the wide feet, right? But usually they have. A little tiny hole in this knobular piece, which I then just put a little nail in to hang them on the wall. Add a little floral in, and voila, you now have wall decor. These would be really fun to add to a salvage piece of wood as well. Looks like we have one pre bid of $3. It's going to run for 20 seconds, and it's going. Good luck, Kim. I think she had the pre bid. So y'all, if you see these shoe forms that have the metal and you don't like them as much, or I'm sorry, you see these shoe stretchers that have the metal and you don't like them as much as the shoe forms, they make some really fun projects. The metal will bend and you can kind of set that piece on top of a book stack as well if you just want to put them on the shelf. All right, Kim, you got it, $11. Sorry you have to go back to work, but you have to fund the shopping, don't you? I will get this guy all safe and sound and in your pile. <laughs> okay. I love it. Do we have any requests next? I'm getting down to where the pile isn't going to avalanche everywhere. <laughs> Deb's here. Yeah. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> the copper pitcher. You mean the vignette with the copper pitcher or do you mean the big brass patina pitcher? The picture. All right, let's get the picture up here. So this was a brass picture that I thrifted and I actually had it on my Saturday thrift haul and nobody bought it. So I did that fun patina effect to it. It does have pre-bids already. It's up to $20. I will go ahead and pin it for you. Um, and this is 15 inches tall. So it was plain brass and I used that oxidizing spray to give it this gorgeous, gorgeous patina and then a quick um, matte clear coat. It got really good up there by the handle as well. And I'm going to include these beautiful roses because I found these at the bins as well. Paid next to nothing for them, which means I can give them to you for an amazing deal. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. So pretty on camera, but it's even prettier in person. All right, let's get this out of the way. Excuse me. All right. I have done one giveaway, but it's probably about time for another one, huh? Let's start the auction. 20 seconds. Here we go. I have not done the $50 giveaway yet. No, that'll be the end of the show. This beautiful picture is running. It is very lightweight, but it is nice and tall. It goes from my hip to my shoulder. A very substantial piece. This will look gorgeous in the middle of a huge coffee table. Don't put it on the dining table or you're not going to be able to see your guests. $26. Remy takes it down. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And then I think I saw a bobbin. Let's look at one of our bobbins. All right, let's do that. And then also, 
Y'all, yeah, since we're having so much fun today, let's go ahead and run another little Gibby. I'm gonna put our Gibby tray up here as well with our options so you can start thinking if you win. All right, we've got a giveaway running. You'll get to pick between one of these beautiful little items. Go ahead and enter if you are interested. And while that's running, let's find this beautiful bobbin. So I did find just a couple bobbins while I was at the antique, um, at the antique malls and stores this weekend. This one is empty on the top, which means it gets some greenery. Very subtle. It's got great patina on the bottom. And then I'll run a couple of the bobbin carrots next. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> All right, starting the auction on this one, 20 seconds. It is running. Hike there is with the greenery. So cute. <laughs> Drop a comment in the chat if you have made these bobbin arrangements yet with some greenery. <clears throat> Excuse me. Deb, the grain scoop wall pockets went for like 75 and 66, I think. All right, K Barbara, $16. Thank you so much. This one's coming to you. And then I also picked up some beautiful bobbins. Y'all look at these. That wood color is a little different than what I usually see. So you know that I could not not buy these. I picked these up from my friend Lori who had her first show last night and did amazing. Not glued in, take it out, restyle them as you wish. But for right now, they're carrots. Upcycled vintage decor today. Does have a pre-bid. It's going to start at $6, 20 seconds. This first carrot's running. All right, y'all, while this giveaway is running, feel free to promote yourselves as well. I have a ton of amazing sellers in here. Y'all be sure to follow my moderators. First bobbin carrot is running with the dark wood. Oh yeah, Suzanne, honey, I'm sorry. You can't step away. You can't step away at all. I'm so sorry. All right, Deanna, bobbin's coming to you. Suzanne, what'd you miss? It might be something I can make for you, but I don't know. All right, Deanna. Thank you. Lots of interest in this. Let's go ahead and run the second one. This is why y'all can't walk away. We go fast around here. Second dark bobbin carrot is pinned. It has pre-bids up to $7. We're only running 20 seconds today, folks. Look alive running. Let's go chat. Thank you so much for being here today. We are running an upcycled vintage auction. We have a $50 giveaway at the end of our show today. It's going to be a Visa gift card. Y'all spend it on whatever you want. So stick around. Thank you so much. 190 people in our room in the artisan home goods category. Y'all, we have got to grow this category. So many makers and all we're doing is selling in vintage decor, which is great but we're makers. We need to be recognized for our hard work, right? Artisan home goods. This is where it's at. All right. And the second one has sold second chance bunnies. This one is coming to you, my friend. Thank you so much. I'll add it to your pile. Um, and if y'all know me at all, you know that your pile is actually just a massive pile over here. Um, but someday I'll have Maria to actually be like organizing this stuff for me. I swear her name's gonna be Maria. <laughs> Y'all, if you're on Facebook and YouTube, again, I can't see your comments, so sorry. Join us over on Whatnot by using the link in the description or the little QR code coming out. Ruth and Ruby, I know. And also, you guys, I am highly disappointed because I know an email went out to many of you to join this little special event today. And I only have four other friends that actually is doing an upcycled vintage show today. 
Um, Twin Mom Vintage, can you do me a favor? Actually, 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 we got a minute left in our giveaway, right? No, 12 seconds. It's fine. Somebody's about to win. I'm going to type something. I'm going to try this. Oh, it's right here. Look, I'm going to start tagging the people that are in this upcycled vintage um, little show today, auction today. Dee Dee, congratulations. You win the giveaway. I'm so happy. Which one would you like? We've got the little spindle set. We've got the flash card, the thread spool, the mushy, and the bingo cards. Thanks for the follow, Yerma. And the suburban bish. I love that name. <laughs> Dee Dee, you're my winner, my friend. Which one would you like? The spindles, please. Yay! You've been winning a lot, haven't you? Coming to you. All right. Now, in the chat, I'm about to drop. Congratulations. I'm so happy. I'm about to drop Lady Louise Vintage. She has a show, 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, in the Artisan Home Goods category, making upcycle vintage decor. She has more followers than me, y'all. Go follow her. Bookmark her show for tonight. Tell her I sent you when you go by. And then I have Amy's Rockin' Pop Shop. Um, she is on at hold on a second. There it is. Amy's Rock and Pop Shop. She is on at 3.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. She has more followers than me, I do believe. Atomic Redhead. Not that followers mean anything, just meaning that they've probably been on Whatnot for a little while um, and, you know, know what they're doing, probably put on a good show. It's not about the numbers or anything. Atomic Redhead is on at 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I just dropped her in the chat. And then my girl, Lisa Boone Designs, who I have known for a long time now from the DIY paint community, is on right after me. I'm hoping to rate into her um, if, she, if, if we go that long. I'm not sure if we will, but we're going to try. And then Lisa Boone Designs, I just tagged her as well. She's on at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Oh, shit, shoot, shoot. Sorry, Facebook. She's already on. If she's still on, then we'll rate into her. If not, I'll make sure you go follow her as well. Okay, plug my computer in. Let's keep this auction rolling. Let's kick off with another instant vignette. This one is so cute. Where are my copper lovers at? Attention, we've got copper in the auction. Tiny little copper too, which I love. Pre-bid up to $14. So you're going to be getting this adorable little copper pitcher, about five or six inches tall with the cherry blossoms. Um, no markings on the bottom, but it actually has nice little pieces of um, rubber stopper there to keep from scratching. Farm Master says this insulator. Can y'all see that? There it is. Do you see my mouth hanging open? Uh. <laughs> Trying to focus on it. Oh my gosh, please don't screenshot me. These two tiny little salvage wood pieces. And we have, we have, thank you so much for tagging them. I, I could have asked you to just do that. You probably would have been faster, but I need to be a big girl and learn, huh? 1895 is the copyright on Circio's Oration. I'm probably butchering that. That book is everything. Absolutely everything. And again, I have a paperback that has been decovered, but has so much good texture on that spine. So y'all don't sleep on your paperback books always just because they're not a cute little hardcover doesn't mean they have potential for your DIYs. All right, now pre-bids are up to $20. 
Y'all are bidding it up before it starts. 20 seconds. Here we go. Good luck. Auction is running on this instant vignette. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You know what? I'm going to move my iPad. I'm going to move it. So I quit doing this. We're going to learn to run off of one device. <laughs> Remy, $34. It's almost like I'm doing a dance. If you have me on mute, it probably looks like I'm dancing. That's kind of how I dance anyway. Usually looking at my feet because I don't want to trip. Thank you so much, Remy. <laughs> Woo hey, Atomic Redhead. I just told all my friends about your upcycled vintage auction tonight. So I hope they all come over and bookmark you. I've got you bookmarked. I will be there. We are making friends in the artisan home goods category. I brought all of my vintage decor friends over. Let's run another set of beautiful tied spindles here. Again, cleaning out my stash, tying them up with a little bit of floral. This one has a gorgeous tulip and that tulip looks so realistic. They are 15 inches long. You're gonna get both pieces. 20 seconds and it's ready. Good luck. These would make cute little carrot pieces as well if you wanted to chop them and upcycle them on your own. Alexa, stop. From my daily mindset skills. Alexa, stop. She's getting old, ladies and gentlemen. She needs me to speak up just a little bit sometimes. Oh, man. Corey Mannix is in the house. Welcome in, Corey. How'd you find me over here in the artisan home goods category? <laughs> we have a whatnot celebrity in the house, folks. Y'all go follow my friend, Corey. <laughs> JMV, thank you so much. $9 on the Tide Salvage. I love it. All right, how about another item with pre bids? This is a handmade Vibri piece. I've been upcycling cloches for a long time now. Or cloche. Is there an S on the end of that word? <laughs> We do have a pre-bid of $15 on this one. I've got it pinned there on the screen. So this is old 1980s, 1990s votive holder. Your grandma had them, your aunts had them. They were around every corner, usually in some tacky metal piece covered with dust and wax. Well, now if your girl buys them at the thrift store, flips them upside down, some of them have a flat bottom to which I can attach a piece of wood. This one has a beautiful wood finial, and this is nice thick glass. We like thick glass around here. I have hand cut a piece of salvaged wood for the bottom, and inside you're gonna get the broken, rusty, crusty knob and tube insulator, to which of course I have to add beautiful flowers. You're gonna get one tiny plastic bunny. These sold out of my buy it now section so fast and a sprig of greenery, right? Every season, you just take these little tiny items out and you add in your new little tiny items like bottle brush trees and pumpkins. We're gonna run this 20 seconds, pre-bids at $15 and the auction is running, good luck. Bring it in closer so you can see the scene. I like this one as well. It doesn't have a lot of texture to the glass so you can actually see inside of it. Slightly tricky with my window reflection. I think y'all get the point. So cute. You can always paint the bases too of your salvage wood, whatever color you want. Like I could paint the top green, the bottom green and make it cohesive. I personally, if you haven't noticed, love natural wood. All right, Marlon takes this one down, $33 on my upcycled project. Thank you so much for your first purchase. I'll get this out to you in the next couple of days. I love it. I love it, I love it. Y'all wanna see some more upcycled cloche soon? Yerma still has one and she's flipping it. Do it! Send me a picture when you're done. 
Beeline, Felix the Feline broke my last bell cloche. Oh no, Jenny. Bye. All right, let's do another one of our rosettes. These were, whoops, these were pretty popular. This one has the little kind of, can y'all tell me what this is? Is it a burlap ribbon? Is that what I call it? <laughs> one pre bid of $3 on this one. They are six inches tall. And again, just wrapped with a little bit of fabric, stuck the cute little floral in. This one has got a couple of holes in it. Brie burlap. Okay, okay, it's just burlap. <laughs> Upholstery webbing. See, Mozzie, I wondered if that's what it was because somebody said that last time and said that it was super expensive, but I don't know. Okay, well, it's upholstery webbing then. 20 seconds and it's running. $4 start. Just cute. Little shelf sitter. New idea for your old rosettes. And now I'm going to be buying up every little single one I find because I am obsessed. Yes, you could use um, the bigger ones as well. Those bigger salvage pieces that we always see. Amazing, this to that. Thank you so much for your purchase. $17, this rosette is coming to you. Yes, it is. Okay, what's next? Let's do one of these bobbin carrots. So these bobbins, we have been seeing all over the whatnots. And now, boop, they're carrots. And then when Easter's over, boop, they're not. They're bobbins again. Thank you very much. I'll be here all day. Not really. Not really all day today. It's called, it's called Brie Lap. <laughs> Tessie, stop it. Pre-bid of $7. We'll go ahead and run the one with the highest pre-bid first. I have two of these available today. It's gonna start $7. Is it gonna go? 20 seconds, there it goes. And it's running. These have a cute little white ring around them, painted on. All right, trying to keep up on comments. We're up to $19 on this one. <laughs> okay, it is chair weaving. Great. See, I'm so glad I asked. <laughs> we'll call it free lap. $19. Deanna, thank you so much. You're going to have an amazing box heading your way. And since there was a lot of interest in this one, we will go ahead and run the second one. Make sure I get Deanna's name on this one so y'all are getting the unique item that you're bidding on. Um, my items today have pictures, um, but if I'm ever running an auction based on size, you can always grab a screenshot of what you purchase and whatnot will also send you video receipts. So we have the second one here. Um, again, same thing. Greenery is not a glued in from carrot back to bobbin and two seconds flat. We're gonna start the auction, 20 seconds. Pre-bids will start at $6. Good luck on the last smaller lightwood bobbin carrot. I need shorter names. Hi, Lori, we got a superstar in the house, folks. Lori, I'm selling one of the bobbins I bought from you, I think. Maybe. Actually, I think the long one came from you and the two little dark ones. <laughs> You just woke up, girl, I don't blame you. You ran a long auction for your first one last night. Up to $21, MD Hopper wants it and takes it down. Thank you so much. This one is coming to you. Y'all, I appreciate you so much for hanging out with me on a Sunday. Be sure to bookmark my shows next week, Tuesday, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thursday, I'll be on at noon. 
And then again next Sunday, 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, it's going to be all vignettes. I'm going to kick off a raid train with my friends. Brie, what is the place to send you a private message? Um, this to that's unique right here on Whatnot, please. Okay, I want to show you the vignette that I have put together. I've only got one started so far, or one done so far, for next Sunday. But I want you all to see, I'm not going to just be bringing little book stacks. I mean, there are definitely books in here because I love to decorate with them. But I'm going to make them a little more substantial than just book stacks. Like this one has this massive piece of wood underneath. So this instant vignette is available already listed in next Sunday's show if you want to pre-bid on it. But how gorgeous is this? So expect items like this. I'll only have 30 minutes to sell next Sunday, y'all. So everything will be preloaded by probably Thursday, Friday night, hopefully. And um, things will move fast, but expect really beautiful vignettes full of items, not just little tiny book stacks. We're gonna do big substantial vignettes. Okay, the bee bottle, isn't that cute? Oh, and just so you guys know, um, I run Moscow Mule. You pick nights here on Whatnot a lot. So when you buy my vignettes that feature bottles that look like this, these are upcycled vodka bottles. And I'm getting my money back on my Moscow Mule You Pick Nights, and they will help fund our next Moscow Mule You Pick Night. Upcycled by Brie. I know, only 30 minutes is going to be crazy, girl. But if you love this vibe, go get your pre-bids in. I have these eggs available in my Buy It Now section. I've painted them. Hold on, let me just pin it real quick before y'all freak out on me because you can't find it. I'm gonna pin the egg. The eggs are pinned in case you wanna go grab an egg. They are three inches, they're big ones. Um, but those are available in the bite now if y'all need some eggs, okay? Let me get this out of the way. Boop, boop, boop. A little preview of next Sunday's show, folks. I love it. Let's run some of these carrots. Um, a lot of people have been making the upcycled spindle carrots. I love to see them everywhere, but I had to make one more round because I had the perfect dark green greenery. There's glue, there's glue and hot glue strands. It's fine. I had the perfect dark green rustic greenery for this dark, chippy, rusty, crusty spindle carrot. I've got a few of these available. Whoop, the eggs are selling like hotcakes. Y'all go get those eggs real quick. I have to remember to tell you guys that stuff's there. You just don't realize it. All right, we've got a pre-bid on this one. Let's go ahead and pin this one. Um, I've got like five of these available. I'll run them. And then when you, buy, when you win one, I will put your name on it. So you're getting the one you bid on. All of the chippiness is going to be a little bit different on them. But look how good. It's crackly. It's crusty. It's chippy. It's a spindle. It's a carrot. <laughs> 20 seconds. Dollar start. It's running. They almost, they almost stand up on their own. Not quite. Oh, goodness. Uh, the milk paint is orange. Yes. I actually mixed together um, scarlet and lemon drop and then a little bit of curry. I used up some end bags. Um, but if you mix like red wagon and curry, you get this color. Milk paint, all of this rusty, crusty goodness milk paint, right there. Upcyclebaggery.com, baby. Thank you guys so much for answering questions for me when I'm missing them. I appreciate ya. All right, Blooming Lilac, Tessie. Tessie, Tessie, you take the first one, $15. All right, we've got interest, so let's run another one. This one's even chippier. Ew. And rusty, and not, it's not rusty. Rusty, crusty, I always say that, but it's not rusty, actually. It's just crusty. <laughs> All right, pin in this one. 
Thanks for being patient with me while I figure out how to use my computer like a big girl. 20 seconds, dollar start, it's running. Um, and it looks like they're 15 inches long with the greenery. So they're substantial. They will stick out of a crock very, very well. In fact, I'll show you here in just a second. Let me grab one of my decent sized crocs. You go high? Come on. No, you go. So if you have like a two gallon crock, I would bunch up just a little bit of packing paper down at the bottom and then poke it right off the top. Looks really good with these ferns too. They also look great laying in baskets. All right, MD Hopper takes that one. Nice pickup, my friend. $21 on this crusty carrot. <laughs> it's not really a word that you associate with food very often. All right, we'll run the next one. And I'll check comments. I let my dog out too, so I gotta let her back in. All right, this third one is pinned. MD Hopper's name is on that one. 20 seconds, dollar start, running now. I can see the dog right outside the window. She's like, I just want some sunshine, mother. Oh, there's a hair. DNA is free. I usually try to remove it, but boy, that greenery really loves my hair. <laughs> oh. You're back. Thanks for coming back. Again, no pressure. No pressure to stay if you're busy. We're up to $17. We've got a bidding war. A couple more carrots left after this. Who's going to take it down? So y'all like the crusty texture, huh? Suzanne, Suzanne wasn't asleep for that one, guys. She takes this carrot for 19. And again, if you are new to my channel, new to my show, new to what I do, these are just old pieces of chairs, just spindles that I've cut off of roadside rubies, chairs I grab out of the Goodwill bins for $5. I chop them up and I make projects out of them. Upcycled vintage is the name of the game today. All right, we're pinning this one. Hold on a second, who won this one? Let me stay on top of it, let me stay on top of it. Suzanne, 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 Suzanne takes that one. This one's pinned. All right. Twenty seconds. Dollar start. And it's running. Maisie, you're such a good girl. Let's get a treat. If you go, good girl. We've been on for a couple of hours. We're mostly through the show. We've got a few things left. Again, everything is already loaded up in my auction tab. So if you have to go and you want to get pre-bids in on anything that is available, if you've already been shopping, check my little store down here. Go to the Buy It Now section because you probably have unlocked reduced or free shipping. Load that card up. Get the most out of your shipping. Girl math. All right. And Suzanne takes this one as well. $17. And now you've got a set of two. We add that one into your bag. Thank you so much. And we have the last chippy one. There's been some battles for these. So let's, let's just run them all right now. This is the last one for the day. And this last of this greenery that I have. And this greenery is like totally bendable. So you could also like make it like kind of lay and flow. Last chippy carrot of the day. 20 seconds, dollar start. And it's running. Good luck. Good luck, good luck. A little bit of paint is still chipping off, but for the most part, it's going to stay. No worries. <laughs> M. 
And Twin Mom Vintage, my mod says, don't forget that mystery baskets are restacked or restacked. They're not stacked, but they're restocked in my buy it now section. If y'all are new here, mystery baskets are curated by me. You'll get five to 10 items, depending if you pick a smaller or medium. And I hand pick those items from the thrift store, curate them into a beautiful a little instant vignette. Every single one does include a basket since they're called mystery baskets. And uh, they come to you and you get to open them up and have a little breeze surprise. If you order things from the auction and a mystery basket, I try to make sure that everything goes really well together. So it's a lot of fun for me. It's a great value for you. And it's fun for you to open up as well. <laughs> All right, Deanna, you take this last crusty carrot for 17. Thank you so much. Um, Carolyn, yes, that is the plan. Deanna, awesome. All righty, what's next? What's next? Let's do this. Another Brie original, and this one is big. I have a decor board. So if you followed me on YouTube and Facebook, I have been making decor boards since the very beginning. I think it was like my second video ever. I made a bunch of boards. The video was awful. The, the audio sucked, but it caught my name out there. And from here on out, I have been making more and more. So this is just an old piece of fence wood. Decor only, do not put your food on it. Sometimes these fence pieces will split down the middle and I glue them together and then I give them faux repairs. Um, so it's not a real repair. My dog got back outside. How did that happen? It's not a real repair. Um, it's glued, but then I add a piece of like here of salvage wood across each side of the crack. And then this one is a piece of leather. I think it was off of some kind of like military box or tag. This is pinned at the bottom. Chance for you to get pre-bids. It is 28 inches long and seven inches wide. I'm going to bring my dog back inside for a second time so she does not run away. Get another treat. Not another one. Okay, let's come say hi to the people. The, the back door blew back open. All right, if you were on earlier, I told you my, my daughter or my um, friend's son, not my daughter, my friend's son drew a picture of Maisie. Oh my gosh, don't knock it off. What do we think? You did pretty good, right? Do a side profile. That's Maisie. That's my 17 year old Chihuahua. If you're new here. <laughs> All right. So this massive decor board is going to run. <laughs> I only have two boards available today. We're going to start the auction, run for 20 seconds. It does have a pre-bid of 15, and it is running now. Good luck. This one is big, guys. It goes from my hip to my head. It'd be fun to hang on the wall. It would be fun to add into your collection. I've also seen people put these inside of old totes and just stack multiples in front of each other. Beautiful white chippy wood. And then the other side is plain. You know, you guys could always stencil that side up yourself, do something a little different. And it would still hang on the wall evenly because both of these wood pieces are the same. <gasps> it's a riser. It's a decor board riser, folks. I didn't market that one very well. Somebody's about to get a double duty piece. Sims, congratulations. This decor board slash riser is coming to you. $28. Amazing pickup. And you have a few boards, so that one will be great with your collection. I already know. All right, let's do another tied piece of salvage. This one is my favorite out of all of them. We have gorgeous chippy spindles here, and this is like a stain that has chipped off. It's not paint. I've used a piece of old leather belt that I cut up, whoops, and added in a pretty tulip and greenery. 
Um, obviously, it's not glued on there or anything. It's just tied around. So if you like to use the little spindles, but you're not sure what to do with the rest of the pieces, stick this in a crock, stick this in a basket. It is moody. Y'all got my total, total Brie style items today. Like these colors and stuff behind me, this is how I decorate my house. See? Boop. How pretty. I told you the floral has it out for my hair. How pretty is that? All right, 20 seconds, and they're running. Good luck. Bidding on the spindles. You'll get the little leather wrap and the tulip. I love these tulips. They're so realistic looking. And if y'all know, I'm obsessed with black decor. You could also take these spindles, you guys, and chop them. Make your own little note card holders. Make your own carrots whatever you would like. And Nikki B. Junkin takes it. Thank you so much. $10 on that tied spindle set. Great pickup. In fact, I am going to put these. See, this is why I have to glue a few items for my upcycled shows. Otherwise, I just have little pieces of flowers everywhere. <laughs> we'll put that one in a bag so it all stays together for you, my dear. Ooh, I forgot about these. Has anybody ever seen a rusty, crusty sugar mold before? I have been to the tulip shows before. Brinkley's, are you talking about tulip time in Topeka? I have been there. We do have a pre-bid on this guy of $8. Where's my mouse? Oh my gosh, where is my mouse at? <laughs> Hello? Oh no. Um, it's not, it's wood. But now I can't find my mouse on my iPad, it's, or on my computer. That's okay, that's why we have two devices. And go back to the dancing. Okay, I'm going to pin it and then we'll talk about it. All right, it's pinned. So this is just a raw wood sugar mold that I grabbed from the thrift store. It looks like for $3. And I used the Modern Masters metal effects paint on it. I just stuck a couple little succulents in for decoration, but I did not want to glue anything in in case y'all wanted to do your own thing with these. How cool, right? Oh, now I'm trying, now I'm trying to go to my computer. Why can't I find my mouse on my computer, Jasmine? Please help. Please help. Current bid is $8. 20 seconds and it is running now. I have two of these rusty sugar molds available. Each piece is gonna be unique because that paint is gonna dry a little different on each one. Did the battery die on my mouse? No, the little red, the little red laser lights on and I'm like, I'm using my touchpad, and my mouse is not popping up. What if I close my computer screen and open it back up? Ha ha! God, I'm so smart sometimes. Sorry guys, you don't have to actually help me. I figured it out. Sorry. It's me, not you. I got it. <laughs> Cap one, first purchase. Thank you so much. $23 on the sugar mold. It will be coming to you. How are you gonna decorate this? Do you collect sugar molds? Do you have wooden ones? I must know all the things. And that was pretty popular. Oops, so let's go ahead and run our second one. <clears throat> let's run our second one while we're thinking about it. We're going to pin it. It's got a pre-bid of $6 on this one. And in this one, I've added in some little cute flocked succulents. This one is my favorite. I got those at the grocery store one time in like the cute little decor section. They were only a dollar. And I bought all of them. 
And like, this is the very last one and I'm sad. Paint did I use? So I use, oh, where is it? Here it is. It's a three-step paint. It's called Modern Masters Metal Effects. There's a primer, a paint, and then a spray. You want to screenshot that and I get it on Amazon. It takes some practice and some getting used to, but I love it. I've used it for years now. All right, we're going to run this one 20 seconds. Pre-bid of $7 and it's running, my friends. Last one I have, a very unique piece. I'm so glad you guys like my stuff. We're having a sold out show, y'all. I never realized how much garland costs. It's crazy. If y'all aren't thrifting your floral, what are you doing? Marlin takes the second one. Congratulations. $26. Great pickup. Thank you so much. Okay. How about another wrapped knob? This one is number three. Porcelain knob. Everybody's been sticking the flowers in them. Well, I'm buying the pieces that still have the tall part. And I am wrapping flowers around and kind of making them like grow up like a vine. I don't have them glued on in case you guys want to restyle, obviously, but look at all of that rust buildup around the bottom of this one. It's not dirt, it's like rust buildup. And then it's cracked, it's patinaed, it's good. Don't sleep on the ones that still have the metal part, y'all. We have a pre-bid of $11, we'll go ahead and pin this item. Cat's making photo holders out of the old knobs. That is genius. I have to ask, when I go to try to get and give away, do I have to scan the code or what do I do? Um, so Willie, when I, when I run a giveaway, it'll pop up right here on the screen. I'm not running one currently. The $50 Visa giveaway will be at the end of the show. And we will be at the end of our show and I'd say about 30, 45 minutes. All right, so this one is pinned. It's got pre-bids up to $11. We're gonna start the auction 20 seconds and here we go. Good luck. This is probably my favorite one on the whole show. A Little bit of pussy willow and just green floral climbing up it. Rusty, crusty, a little cracked. If y'all like the riser it's on, these are also available in my buy it now section. You can make the whole setup. And these are raw woods. You can stain them, paint them, whatever you want to do. <laughs> no worries, Willie. Kelly Will. First purchase. Thank you so much for being here and purchasing from me one of my upcycled vintage finds. I hope they give me a follow and bookmark future shows. This is coming to you for $35. Thank you so much. Oh, let's put the number three back on it make my life easier in the future. Future Brie, thanks me. I love it, friends. All right, how about some tiny itty bitty salvage? If you bought a couple of things from me, you might need just an accessory here. We have a pre-bit of $4 on this item. Tiny little piece of metal with the greenery. And this is a porcelain like drawer knob. It's got a little bit of green chippy paint, a ton of rust on it. Just a little cutie. 20 seconds, $4 start with pre-bids and they are running now. Hi Dana, how are you? Little baby mini salvage pieces running now. Y'all, if you're taking apart lamps, you're throwing away old knobs. Think again, think again. These are those little accessories you put in front of your jars, on top of your book stacks, that just add that little extra touch. Lori, cha-ching, cha-ching. This one's going to you for $19. Every time I read your name in my head, I go, cha-ching. <laughs> Thank you so much. Where are you gonna style that one? Do you have a place in mind? All 
All right, let's do another instant vignette stack. We have a paperback with no cover left, but look at the goodness on that spine. It's plain on both sides. You guys can even add a stamp or a transfer, little jute string around it for an extra touch. Glass jar of floral, and then I took this plain gold knob and used my rusty paint and patina spray to doll it up a little bit. Did I do okay? Does that look old? It was shiny and gold before. Double tap the screen if that looks old. See, it all looked like that before. All right, let me quit staring at the screen with my mouth open and pin this. <laughs> There's no pre-bids on it, so y'all get your custom bids in now. You get the book, the jar with the flowers, and the beautiful patina knob by Brie. Um, the knob does lean a little. It's a lean with it, rock with it knob. Okay, but I just kind of set it up against the jar a little. And it will sit straight, but I don't mind the lean. 20 seconds. And it's running. Good luck. That knob is everything. The knobs have been selling for like 12 to 14 to 15 dollars alone. And you get the extra. I would put a little bit of string around this. Add in that extra touch. Ooh, Marlin, amazing pickup. $15 on that instant vignette. Great job. And Marlin, you probably almost unlocked free shipping now if you haven't already. So check my little buy it now section down here. Add in some extra goodies and get the most for your shipping. This will be coming to you. Lean with this one. Lean with it. All right, what's next? We've got a bunch of carrots here. Let's get some of these guys ran. Oh, Marlon, see, I'm so used to decorating with books. I'm over here dancing, not paying attention. There you go, your book's in your bag. <laughs> All right, these carrots. These guys, if you're not into the chippy paint, I know not everybody is. These are just little pieces of wood that came off of chair legs or whatever. They do have the little pieces where the dowels are. I'm gonna run them individually and I will put your name on the ones you win, okay? But they also stand up. They also stand up if you like that. All right, this one's pinned. It's gonna start at a dollar, 20 seconds, and it's running. I do have a few over here available, so keep that in mind. The brass planter is mine and not for sale, and you guys aren't going to talk me into it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm putting my foot down. I mean, unless you got like a hundo on it, and then you can have it. <laughs> Wrote the $10 on this first carrot. Let's go. Y'all like the plain wood, too. You said, Brie, that's enough chippy paint for the day. Let's do some plain wood. Archie Doodle, thank you so much. I love your username. First purchase, this one is coming to you for $11. For 11, for 11, where's my shirt? In my pocket. I'm not spanking myself, it's really dead. You all know how often, though, I tap my own pockets in public looking for a pin or something because I'm so used to it. Yikes. Such a tease, says for me. All right, this one has a hole. So y'all can put like a little bird or something in there. All right, the second one. Dollar start. 20 seconds. Running now. This one's got the hole. Old pieces of chair, I just drill a little hole in top and add whatever kind of greenery you want. Sometimes my greenery stands straight up. Sometimes I find some that's floppy. Just depends. Huh. 
Looks like this is going to be a three hour option, even though I didn't think so, but it's fine. <laughs> MD Hopper, thank you so much. That second one's coming to you. And we'll move it right along. This one also has a hole in it. It's pinned and it's ready. 20 seconds. Yeah, Michelle, give me one second. Y'all, I'm going to run and grab one thing out of my inventory. Okay, Marlon takes this carrot as well. Stairs. Yeah, Sims, will you uh, shoot me a private message? Christine, I don't know why I always just call you Sims. Dancing Santa, I had a request to see the Dancing Santa that's in the Buy It Now section. And here he is. He is pretty fabulous. I have three of them available left. I went ahead and pinned them on the bottom of the screen so they're easy to check out. They are fun. They are felt. They've got the plastic face and they have their little stand that they balance on. Aren't they cute? Okay, so that's pinned. I did have three of these, yes. All right, Ruth and Ruby, thanks for being here, Jackie. I appreciate you. I sold 103 items. That's crazy. All right, so he's pinned. If y'all want to click on him and go check him out, let's get these last three carrots ran. For those of you who were wanting these plain wood carrots, and I think these are going to be my last carrots of the season. I got the quilt carrots today, too. All right, this one has the wood inside. It still has the little piece of wood in this one. Little call out there for you, if you want to call it a call out since it's an upcycled piece. <laughs> All right, this carrot is running. Two more left after this. And don't forget, end of the show today, we have that $50 Visa gift card giveaway. Thanks to Whatnot. Thank you for all of the follows. If you are new here, be sure to bookmark future shows. Check my Buy It Now section. All the good things, follow me on social media. Upcycled by Brie is my name on all platforms. All right, Sheila's in on this one. We're up to $10. And she takes it down. Thank you, Sheila. Next one has a little bit of wood, a little bit of a hole. Two carrots left, and then we'll move on. 20 second, dollar start. Carrots running. <laughs> Thank you, Gigi. I have so much fun doing this. Y'all know I love resell. I love to go to the bins and just take the items and turn them right around here and flip them. But I'm also an artist. I love to create. So doing this has made my heart so happy. I've been working on things since like Monday, but honestly, most of it was put together like in the last 48 hours. Once I start creating, then the ideas just start flowing and the inventory just starts going. MD Hopper, 15. Thank you so much. Last carrot of the day has some wood and two nails. <laughs> Full disclosure. But, you know, if you turn them around, you can't even see that. 20 second dollar start. Last one carrot. Go. Are you awake? Are you awake now? Last one, Roxy Crow wants it. Said, I can't let that get away. First purchase, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here and buying one of my handmade items. This little wooden carrot will come to you for $17.
and I'll get it out in the next couple days. Thank you, thank you. I love your name. I always thought if I had a different name or got to choose a different name, pardon the typo in what I just pinned. This is a tin cup, not a Tim cup. But I always thought if I got to choose my own name, it would be Roxy. Okay, how do you see all three? Um, Michelle, look in the shop. Yeah, you should be able to look at my little shop right here and go to the buy it now section and you can purchase them. You might have to purchase all three separately, but it'll combine shipping for you. Sometimes you can choose the quantity when you purchase from buy it now, but I've had people have a hard time. So then they just buy them all individually. Whatnot will combine all the shipping. <clears throat> yeah, if I'm missing comments, y'all, please feel free to ask again. My mods are helping me out. I've got like, what, 160 people in the room and sometimes I get excited and forget to look. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the tip. All tips from now until March 24th go towards my birthday thrifting trip. I just got $5 from Anne Glenn. I appreciate you. Okay, get all the rest of that chippy, chippy carrot paint off of here. Let's look at this vignette. Cute instant vignette. So I've got one of the tin cups. It's got a little bit of Excelsior and a gray egg. We've got one of our broken ceramic insulators, Tessie with the $5 tip. Thank you. Y'all go make me blush. I appreciate it, you guys. We have a set of the three tiny gray spindles, a little purple floral in there, and then the book is everything. Y'all can't even see the book on the pre-bids. Probably hurting myself there. This is an original bell. Oh, Wicked One Dora with the $10 hauler. Thank you so much. Woo, that birthday fund is rising. You guys are amazing. 1885 on the copyright. <laughs> you guys are so awesome. She Oh, she wants to see all three Santas. I see what you're saying. Yes, ma'am. I will go get them while this runs. Copyright 1885. An original bell is the title of this book. So, so stunning. So you'll get the book, the spindles, the tin cup with the egg, and the ceramic insulator here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start the auction on this and grab the other two Santas. No, it's okay, don't apologize. I'm here to give you an auction, no worries. If I was a smart girl, I would bring all of my stuff upstairs before the show. Lisa with a $5 fund towards the birthday trip. Oh my gosh, Brittany Jane with a $5 tip. You guys, I'm gonna bring home so much good junk. Thank you so much. Ah! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna run this. 20 seconds, $10 start, and this instant vignette is running. Dee Dee with a $5 tip, Twin Mom Vintage with a $1 tip, you guys. Y'all are amazing. Get your bids in on this instant vignette. I'm gonna go grab a couple of Santas and maybe cry. Ah! <laughs> All right, $25 on this instant vignette. Thank you so much. And let me pull this up. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am, I am going to cry. <laughs> Okay, good news, bad news. I only actually have two Santas available. So I edited that. I am so sorry. I forgot that I 
my shipping gal wanted one and I let her take one home and I forgot to edit inventory. I'm so sorry about that. I'm glad we realized before you bought them, but these are the two that I have left. These are the two that I have left for you. So sorry that I don't have the three, but I do have the two. Okay, so I'm gonna pin these guys again in case you wanna click and purchase. Here they are. Okay, um, I cannot do ten, uh, two for 20, so sorry. $58 in tips. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to start a total somewhere. Maybe on the chalkboard behind me. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't have any wiggle room in those Santas. I actually paid up for them a little bit. I appreciate the offer though. Thanks for asking. All right. Let's get this back on track here. Let me focus. Not too many items left today, folks. And we will do that fun $50 giveaway at the end of the show. And we'll do a fun raid. All right, we've got a salvage nest post. This is a piece of bed frame chopped off. I've added the little baking jello mold and it's got the nest and egg inside. It is pinned. It does look like it has a pre-bid of $5. It will run for 20 seconds. And here we go. Good luck. So much fun to make. It looks like I already sold. No, I didn't sell the other one. Okay, so I do have two of this style available. If you want to end up getting a set of two, I will go ahead and run the next one. Next. Oh, Marlon just picked up the one of these candlestick risers. Nice pickup, Marlon. And this, to that's unique takes this one, $17, and another $5 tip from Nan Bob. Y'all are going off today, thank you so much. It's gonna be the best birthday ever. Oh my gosh. All right, this to that, I'm not writing on your post, there's tape on there. <laughs> that looked bad, huh? You're like, what are you doing, Lainey? All right, the Santas are old, they are vintage, yes. Yes, 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 they are old. You can see, um, you can kind of tell, you know, there's a little age to some of their, their little pieces and the faces definitely have just a little bit of paint wear, but they are old. I actually bought them from my friend Walnut Cottage Company on auction here on whatnot. I had a bunch of them. Okay, let me find this guy. Oh, it's Denise. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> Sometimes I can't tell who's who here on whatnot. I'm having a hard time finding this post. One second. I know I had two of them in here, but I don't see it now. That's very strange. Okay, we're going to quick add this one. If we're going to, oh, we're going to start it at, we're going to start it at a dollar. The other one started at five, I think, right? Or three. We're going to start this one at a dollar. Yeah. Cool. 20 seconds, dollar start. Let's go. And we're getting rated. Pet Sprout Resell with a party of 12. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. That means we'll start a giveaway. Y'all go follow my raider. Thank you so much. All right, I have a little giveaway running as well. $15 on the last salvage nest post, it looks like. Goes to Proud Marine Mom. Here's our little giveaway tray. Get in the givey. 
I've got my flash card. I've got my thread spool. There's also a wood mushy and a couple of bingo cards left. So if any of those little great salvage items look good to you, enter the giveaway. Give me a little follow, bookmark my shows, and y'all go follow our raider. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, let's get this one over to Proud Marine Mom. Y'all giveaways running, get your promotions in. If you've got shows coming up, let us know. Let's go ahead and run our other piece of rusty, crusty salvage today. So this was a brass lamp piece. I got the lamp for $5, took it all apart. This brass salvage was kind of boring though. So I gave it that gorgeous, rusty, crusty paint job that you've been seeing in the show and you'll get the flowers included little industrial floral to add into your vignette. It is pinned, so you can see shipping. We're gonna go 20 seconds, and it is a running. Good luck, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Isn't that gorgeous, Cynthia? I have used this rust paint on furniture before. Do y'all think I need to do a furniture flip with it soon? Show you how I do that. Yes, Christine, Um. oh wait, that's an old comment. Comments are, wait, 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 okay. That's like comments are way behind. Do a furniture piece with it, okay. Marlon, $25, amazing pickup, coming to ya. Thank you for buying an upcycled by breed piece. All right, let's run another round of You Pick Salvage. Got a lot going on on my board here. It's probably a bad time, but it's fine. So I've got all these little chair pieces that I've chopped up and I've added little flowers in, running them as a U-pick. This one has a photo display holder there on it too. And whoever wants the auction gets to pick which one they want. I think this is not a smart idea while giveaways running because I'm not gonna be able to see comments. But you know, it seems to be my favorite time to run U-picks. It's fine. <laughs> All right, it is pinned and it is running 20 seconds. Whoever wins this round will get to pick between one, two, and three. I have lots of other little pieces available so we can run a couple rounds of this in case you wanna get yourself a little set put together. <laughs> Jenny Lee's in the house and takes it down. Would you like one, two, the tall one, or three with the photo holder? Hundred and five people in our giveaway. Thank you so much. Number three. Thank you, Jenny. All right, I have one more that has the photo holder and I'll even give y'all the little like tree art that I have in it. Okay, we'll run it again. 20 seconds, dollar start, running now. You'll get to pick between one, two, or three if you win. Yep, Jenny, I, I am smart, woman. I am smart. Replace it with the one you bid on. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much. $25. Who's going to take it? Jenny does. Would you like the other photo card holder? I'm assuming. Number three. 22 seconds to get in that giveaway. Jenny takes number three into your bag. It goes. All right. Let's replace that one with one of the tall spindles. Let's do it again. 20 second dollar start. It's running. Who's going to be the winner of our giveaway? Two seconds. Selecting a winner. Hey, Crafty from home. That's my girl, Jasmine. Do you want the flashcards, the thread spool, the mushroom, or the bingo, Jasmine? 
and LSQ, number one, two, or three. Oh my gosh, there's so much happening. <laughs> number two, LSQ. I gotta check my comments. <laughs> Handcrafted from home. Jasmine, you won my giveaway. LSQ, your you pick. Yahoo! Jasmine wants the bingo, uh, the bingo cards or the flash card. <clears throat> the flash card. I should have known. As soon as I said bingo cards, I second guessed myself. I was like, ah. Thank you, Jasmine. Y'all, thank you so much. Our next giveaway is going to be that fifty dollar Visa gift card. End of show. All right, I got quilt carrots. Oh wait, you know what? Let's do another round of this one because y'all were actually bidding this up. So I think we have more interest. $20 second dollar start, you pick, let's go. Whoever wins this round will get to pick between one, two, or three. We have the little piece with the flowers, the tall piece with the greenery, or the spindle. Awesome, Destiny's been watching my YouTube and she loves it. I appreciate you for the support over there. LSQ, one, two, or three. Number three, amazing. I'm gonna add it in with this piece. And since we had so much interest, we're gonna run it again. I'm adding in that same spindle again. Ooh, same spindle again, y'all. 20 second dollar star, let's go. This spindle is 13 inches tall. Hey, Melissa, new to the app, wanted to say hi. Thank you so much for being here. This is a super fun auction app, but also a really great community. So welcome, make sure to follow me, follow all my moderators and my friends who are commenting. It's a great time around here. All right, Ruth, a first purchase. Thank you so much. Would you like number one, two, or three? Number two, amazing. All right, I've only got a few rounds of this left. Let's replace it again. We've got lots of bids. 20 second dollar start, let's go. Thank you for the reminder, Jazz, I appreciate you. You can support me also by just sending up those hearts, commenting, that's gonna help me in the algorithm. Get more eyes on this um, artisan home goods category as well. Proud Marine Mobs in on this one. Am I selling the cream candle holders in the back? Those are available in my buy it now section. You don't even have to bid on them. All right, Proud Marine Mom, one, two, or three. Number one, great pickup. We'll replace it. This one has the photo holder metal clip on it. 20 seconds, dollar start, it's running. We got the photo clip holder in this round. Let's go, let's go. Not very many pieces of this left and not very many auction items left today, folks. We're getting through it now. All right, LSQ, $17, one, two, or three. Number two, Number one, the photo clip holder. That's the last one of these for the day. <laughs> You've got a bag already, where'd it go, where'd it go? It's right behind me. <laughs> I figured you were going to get more. All right. Last three are right here. 
These two are the same, and we've got a spindle. $20 start. Here we go. Rex Flipper, you can definitely promote yourself dream giveaways. But y'all go check out my friend Rex Flipper. Bookmark their shows if it looks like something you love. I'll give you a shout out. While it's not a giveaway, I got you. Yeah, if we do it during the whole show, comments get lost and then your girl gets so lost. 170 people in the room and then we all start talking. It gets crazy. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't want your comment to get lost. What do you sell, Rex Flipper? You follow me, I follow you. I buy things I find pretty interesting or make me nostalgic. I enjoy saving these things and finding them new homes. I love it. I'm making new friends today. It's really easy to check y'all out on my computer. I like that. <laughs> All right, K Barbara, you take this round and you let number one. All right, we got two more left. Two more left. 20 seconds, dollar start. Pick between one or two, it's running. Here's your chance to pick up the last couple pieces for a steal of a deal. K hey, Barbara. $12. And Ruth takes it. She says, I need another piece. Do you want one or two? One or two. Number one. I know the music is making me want cocktails too, except for I have to drive Elena back to Topeka today. So no cocktails for me. That would be bad. I can't. Hey, let's do it today. All right, last spindle. 20 second, dollar start. Oopsie. 20 second, dollar start, spindle. Running, let's go. Little gray spindle, running now. You don't get to pick anything. Whoever wins this one wins the spindle. Last piece I got left. I wondered what you're talking about, Jasmine. Make deer. I was like, how do you make deer out of this? Dee Dee, thank you so much. Seven dollars on the little spindle. It's gonna match your other ones that you got at giveaway. All right, y'all. Quilt carrots. These are my last four I have with this pattern. We have one pre-bid on this one. Y'all can add your little stamp to these. If you've been on my last few shows, you've probably seen them. We're gonna start them at a dollar, 20 second starts. And this little quilt carrot's running. I've got four available today. I'll put your name on the one you win so you get the one you're bidding on. I would add a couple little initials or the words like a bunny bait right there. So cute. I grabbed these quilt squares out of the Goodwill bins. Um, they were six and a half by six and a half square. Filled them up with a little bit of polyfill, hot glued them shut, added some greenery. And you have upcycled vintage quilt squares. MD Hopper takes this one for $8. And we will go ahead and run the next one. Twenty second dollar start. Our next quilt carrot is a running. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. We've got a few more items left today. This is a great time if you've already shopped and you're not interested in carrots. Go check my buy it now section. If you've already shopped, you've probably unlocked free shipping. Go add in a few more items. Get the most out of your shipping costs. We're up to eight dollars. Lori Cha Ching's in on this one. You can always take and kind of tuck in the little 
extra piece of quilt too if you want. Just preference. Lori says, I want it. Do you already have a couple of these? You don't have to answer while you're bidding. That's dangerous. <laughs> Heirloom Chattanooga. I wonder where I got this idea. Y'all go follow my friend Heirloom Chattanooga. I watched her make these or show these on an auction one morning, and I literally ran to get my quilt scores. Lori to Jane, thank you so much. And let's run another. This is the next one up for auction. They're all just a little different, but basically the same. 20 second dollar start. It's running. Two left today, two left. I think I'm done making carrots for the year. We have an early Easter this year. I think I'm done, folks. Y'all can have the carrots for the rest of the spring. <laughs> MD Hopper's in on it. Three seconds left to go. Bidding wars on carrots. Oh no, I've lost so many times being a smart aleck or making a inappropriate comment or something I should not have been doing. I've lost auctions. <laughs> MD Hopper, $9. All right, last quilt carrot. I'm gonna throw in the gray basket with this one. Y'all hear that? Wake up, freebie. We've got a freebie. David, thank you for the raid. Y'all go follow David Owens Creates. We're about to do a collab on YouTube soon. Follow him on YouTube as well. All right, last quilt carrot comes with a free basket for the raid. Free basket for the raid. 20 second dollar start. It's running. This little basket I actually painted and waxed at one point. Free basket for the raid. Thanks for the raid, my friend. Y'all, we're getting down to the end of our show today. We have a $50 Visa card giveaway at the end of our show and we will find a friend to raid as well thank you so much md hopper and here a little padded mailer it goes lsq let's get your pile out of the way somebody was asking about these candlesticks these are the ones i have in my buy it now section y'all i don't know if there's any left We have the nine inch. There is one available. If y'all are interested, I'm just pinning them so you can see shipping and click on them easily. Somebody was asking. Um, the seven and a half inch are sold out, but my big mama jamas are not. They are 13 and a half inches tall. They are raw wood. You can paint them, you can stain them. You can give them chippy paint and use them as risers. There are three of these available. You could grab a pair of two. They look great on your mantle. Or you grab a set of three. Okay, so somebody was asking about those. That answers your question, hopefully. Let's go ahead and run our second decor board. This one's a little bit shorter, a little bit rounder. how I'm trying to be a little, a little shorter, a little rounder. <laughs> Sorry. We're going to pin this guy. So this did get the chippy paint finish, dark on the underneath coat, chippy white paint on the top, handmade by Brie. Sorry, Emily. I'm sorry. Inappropriate. 20 seconds. And this guy is running. It is 18 inches tall. It is nine inches wide. The backside is plain white. If you wanted to stencil or transfer it, it does not have the chippy paint. You can make yourself a double-sided decor board. <laughs> I know, I know, Emily, I'm so awful. <laughs> You're encouraging me. You're describing me, says Nan Bob. Okay, y'all can relate, y'all can relate. 
And Proud Marine Mom, $17. Amazing. Thank you so much. This is heading to your pile. That board has been in my stash for mm, probably two years. <clears throat> the paint job that was on it didn't sell, so it got repainted. And now it is all yours. I have another set of Tide Salvage here. I do believe this is one of the last ones for the day. I mean, these look exactly the same, I think. This one's a little bit lighter. Okay. <laughs> We're going to pin this. You get your two pieces of salvage wood. If you want to make carrots, if you didn't get any of mine, these would be amazing carrot contenders. But I have tied them together with a little bit of rope and added some flowers. They're going to run for 20 seconds starting now. Good luck. Tied a salvage decor. I like displaying them just like this. You can just lay them on your table. You can stick them in a basket. You can put them in a crock and you can get them out of my basement. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all we're coming down to the end of our show. Make sure to check out the buy it now section. If you haven't had an opportunity yet, maximize those shipping costs. I just love adding a little something extra the rope a belt, some jute. What else could y'all use to tie around these? Drop it, drop it in the chat, your idea. Deanna's in on them, $11. We have three seconds left. The belt idea, oh, lace would be good too. Lace would be good. I have one more set of salvage after these, tied salvage that I'll run next. LG Bowers is in on it. We're up to 15 now. Y'all are sneaking in with those last little seconds. You know, every time that somebody bids, time is added, right? It's not sudden death. Y'all are being a little sneaky last second bidders. <laughs> Deanna, thank you so much. $17 on this set of two. I appreciate you. And since we had a little bitty more, let's do this a second set. Greenery is just slightly different. Snippets, snippers, snipers. <laughs> 20 seconds and this last one is running. Same pieces of wood here, great for the carrots. Greenery is a little bit different. Last piece, last set of Tide Salvage for the day. We're up to 19. And Sheila takes it down, $19. And of course, I don't have any of that glued together. So I will put it all in a nice little bubble mailer for you. Thank you so much, my friend. Y'all, if you are on Facebook and YouTube, thanks for hanging out with me today. We're getting close to the end of the auction. If y'all had fun, but didn't get a chance to chat with me or bid, make sure you download Whatnot before my next auction, which will be Tuesday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Download the app. Input your billing information, and y'all can come hang out and shop over here. All right. I have a set of three eggs, and these are just on some small little metal salvage pieces, maybe off of a doorknob or something like that. There's two yellow and a green. These are not glued on, so you can replace them. You can rearrange them. You can reuse your salvage for other reasons. We do have one pre-bid of $3, so we'll go ahead and pin this item. We're going to run 20 seconds, and they're going. Metal ring salvage with egg atop. I think these were probably for doorknobs. You'll get all three plates and all three eggs. One money. <laughs> I know the salvage pieces are so good. All right, Catherine, thank you so much. These are coming to you for $9.
I know I'm getting excited about the giveaway. Can y'all tell I'm getting like woo, $50 Visa gift card. That's crazy. All right. Can anybody tell me what these wood pieces came from? Does anybody know? There is one pre-bid on these of $3, a chair, a paper towel holder. Ooh, bottle brush trees in those metal salvage rings. Whoever said that, that's a great idea. Okay, so these were actually hooked or like set inside of a, a wooden lamp base. And they've got holes in them and they came with a wooden lamp. What do you think? I have no clue. I stuck some flowers in them because that's what we do in the spring around here. They're going to run for 20 seconds and they're running. They're 11 inches tall and you get the flowers. I have no clue what they are. They came out of a lamp. What do you think people used these for with a lamp? Not an oil lamp, an electric lamp. <laughs> You'd make four pieces, says Emily. Oh, these look like bobbins or spools. You put a little wood round on them, cut these off, turn them upside down. Woo! You could totally upcycle these. Kim takes them $14. Kim's back, y'all. Kim, are you still be working? I won't tell anybody. All right, we got. Two bee bottles. Again, purchase of these will fund my next Moscow Mule Nights. <laughs> we do have a pre-bid of $10. These are Tito's vodka bottles. When they're empty, I just get the label a little bit wet and then the top layer will peel off and it'll leave one paper label on there, one little layer. And then I add transfers. These are the French label transfers. You can find them on upcyclebybree.com. All right, 20 seconds, $10 pre-bid, and they are running. Greenery included. The bottles are 7 to 10 inches tall. Brie B bottles. The B Brie bottles. B bottles by Brie. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Craziness comes out. B bottles by Brie will fund the next Moscow Mule Night. And at this rate, since I only have one cocktail a night, it looks like it's going to fund the next few. <laughs> Emily, I have plenty in stock. All right, Tessie takes them. $23 on the Brie B bottles. B bottles by Brie. Get your B bottles by Brie here, folks. If I keep talking like that, I'm going to have the auctioneer voice down soon. I lied earlier when I said I did not have any chippy carrots left. I have two chippy carrots left. These are the super chippy wooden. This one has the hole in the back. Let's go ahead and get this guy out of here. Pin, dollar start, 20 seconds, let's go. Extra chippy, extra chippy carrots. Sorry, I lied earlier when I said I didn't have any left. I didn't think I did. They were hiding. National Wine Day is today. I don't like wine. I'm not a wine fan. Teach their own. I mean, I like it with a good dinner, you know, if it pairs well with my food. But the, the waiter, the server has to tell me that it pairs well. I don't have the knowledge instilled in me. The transfers, upcycled by Brie, just like my username, .com. Type in the search bar. They're called French labels. All right, $10. Jenny Lee takes this one. Last carrot will come with this beautiful basket. This one has a hole in it where you could put in a little bird or a nest or not. This one comes with the basket. Free basket, about to run, folks. Pinned, 20 seconds. It's running, carrot and basket. That is a cute little basket to it. It would look really cute as a nest itself. 
Jenny Lee's carrot there. Last chippy carrot of the day, officially. And basket, running now. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much. We're getting towards the end of our show. Last chance to go to the buy it now section and buy mystery baskets. I have small and medium available. And then on next Sunday's special raid train, I thought about doing a, a mega mystery basket. I only have 30 minutes. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right. $21.90463. This will go towards your pile. If you've already purchased from me and you buy a mystery basket, I will try to curate your basket to go with your purchases of today. I'll do my best. All right, we have our last bobbin carrot of the day. This one does have a pre bid of $6. It is 16 inches long. Now it's a carrot. Oh, wait, I did glue this one in because it wouldn't stay because the hole was really big. Can't do my magic trick. This one is glued. Full disclosure. Hot glue, so you could still totally get it out if you pulled hard enough. 20 seconds with a pre bit of $6, and it is running. A last bobbin carrot of the day. This is a little larger. The other two white bobbin carrots were only about this tall. Now I need a basket to make a big nest. Yes, Emily, like just sitting on top of this riser, it was so pretty. So pretty. Ooh, put an orange wash on it. That would be fun. I never thought of that with the with the wood bobbins. And I have some really pretty orange paint too. Remy, thirteen dollars. Thank you so much. You got my last bobbin carrot. Okay, our last tall wrapped floral doorknob. has a pre-bid of $7, but my computer doesn't want to use my mouse again, so one hot second. Huh. There it goes. Pin item, now it's pinned. Okay, Remy on my bag here. Cool, 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 keeping it organized. This one is uber rusty. Some of the rust kind of transfers down onto the porcelain. The floral is wrapped up the stem and it has a little bit of light purple detail. Not bright, just light. We have a pre bit of $7. It's going to run for 20 seconds. It's running and this is our last one of the day, officially. Get your rusty, crusty doorknobs here, folks. Thank you so much for being here, hanging out with me today. Bookmark next Sunday's very special auction. It will be a vignette raid train. We are rocking a sold out show, you guys. It's crazy. It's amazing. I couldn't ask for better friends here. And Marlon takes it. Thank you so much. This last doorknob's coming to you for $19. Our last instant vignette of the day, of today, next Sunday, I will have more. We're going to pin this one. It has a rusty, crusty finial. This is off of an old iron fence. We have a brown egg that sits atop this salvage metal piece. This is like my favorite little thing right now. I want to put an egg on everything. We have a little black rusty crusty pulley, a sprig of greenery, and two books. Travel in history is copyright 1857. Here's our pages. Here is our cover. Here is our spine and some beautiful age. 
This is Elson. Oh my gosh. This is the primary school reader. I think this is the favorite book I picked up yesterday. So good. I can't always find copyrights in these. 1912, 1913 is the copyright. And the pages are simply amazing. Now for decor, you can always flip them over and then you'll just have the brown page. Some people like a little more, a little more oomph. All right, so last instant vignette of the day. Boop. 20 seconds and it is running. Good luck. Who is gonna take our last vignette of the day, folks? And then we only have two items before our $50 giveaway. Two items left before our $50 giveaway and raid. If your friends are not here, tell them to get their booties here. Eight seconds left, all things lovely, $37. Dee Dee wants it, we've got a bidding war. Donna says I have a great eye. Donna, thank you so much. I love my job. <laughs> I love junk and I love curating home decor. Dee Dee, $41 on this vignette. That has Dee Dee's name all over it. Her style, my style. A lot of my shoppers here were originally shoppers on my website. So I know their style because I've shipped them out a few things. Thank you so much, Dee Dee. Er, $41 on that vignette. All right, our last rosette of the day does have one pre-bid of $3. Melissa, um, when I start the giveaway, I will tell you and there will be a little button right up here, okay? So stay tuned. Couple more items. $6 tall on these rosettes. This one has wrapped belt all the way around it and a little bit of floral stuck in. This one has some great patina with that stain missing. We're gonna start the auction, 20 seconds, and it's running, our last rosette of the day, folks. Good luck, good luck. Thank you guys so much for being here and sharing. Double tap that screen, send up some hearts if you want to see another completely handmade upcycled vintage show or a whole category. What if we had a whole upcycled category here on Whatnot? Hmm, that would be amazing. <laughs> All right, Archie Doodle, $17 on my rosette. I don't have this glued in, so you can change the greenery each season. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, here's our last item of the day. Will we have a sold out auction? I don't know. Y'all probably don't like this, huh? Nobody likes bobbins around here. Spools. No. This one's good, let's pin it. It actually has a pre-bid, so it's a sold out show already, as long as the payment goes through. This one has the rusty metal top and bottom. A little extra touch, the wood ones don't always have the metal added. Stuck in, take it out, restyle it as you wish. 20 seconds, last item of the day, I'm shaking you guys. I am so happy and not in a bad way, in a good way. $22 start, $3 start at me, let's go. <laughs> it is a sold out show, it's a sold out show. Thank you guys so much, that's number 26. I need some chalk, I need to write this down. Where's my chalk? We're gonna start a tally right down here, that's number 26, so I'm gonna write it on my board. It's getting so high up there, I can hardly remember now. We're up to $22 on the bobbin. Who's going to take our last item of the day? 145 items sold. That's crazy. Deanna, thank you so much. $22. Last item of the day. Y'all are amazing. Okay, so you know what it's time for. $50 Visa card. Giveaway is running. Now is your last chance as well. Promote your shows you've got coming up. Do it, do it. 
Go follow my friends. Get in the giveaway. We're not going to let it run the whole five minutes, okay? I don't want anybody in here like coming in, swooping in our giveaway at the very end, okay? We're going to let it run for a couple. Get your promos in. Then we'll find somebody to raid. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. My very first upcycled vintage auction, I feel, was a major success. Thank you for loving my junk and my creations. Even if you didn't buy anything, thank you for hanging out, chatting, commenting, sharing, reading the questions I miss. <laughs> Bookmark all of my future shows I have coming up. Next Sunday, 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time is a very special raid train. I get to kick it off, and I didn't even organize it. I'm so honored. And that raid train runs 12 hours, you guys, all day long. I'm here Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm here Thursdays at noon Central Standard Time. And I am on YouTube and Facebook every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time Live as well. Also, if you have purchased today, this is your last chance to go to my Buy It Now section, snag yourself a little mystery basket, a medium mystery basket, crafting supplies, not sure what all is left over there. Um, I did load up a ton of salvage wood pieces into my buy it now section. If you want to get your craft on, I have some little lots that are just little pieces. I have some that are a little bit older. So go check out that buy it now before we're done. Because if you've already purchased something, you probably have free shipping now. We're gonna get the most we can out of that shipping cost, aren't we? <laughs> 200 people watching! Ah! So amazing, thank y'all so much for being here. <laughs> we are running that $50 Visa gift card giveaway. Last chance to go shop my Buy It Now section and bookmark shows. I mean, you can do that anytime, but then we will raid somebody. Do not go win me where. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give it till two minutes left. We got 40 more seconds. Get in the giveaway, shop the buy it now, then we're gonna pull it. Pulling the winner at two minutes, y'all. Whoop, whoop. We share the same birthday. Who's that? Oh, Gigi. Yay. Happy birthday, birthday twin. Thrifty Redhead bookmarked all of my shows. Thank you so much. Woo, repurpose relics pop up tonight. Y'all, she's killing it on this app. Go check her out. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Drawing the winner. Who's going to take it? Heather Grove, 23. Congratulations. You win a $50 Visa gift card. Compliments of whatnot, the upcycled vintage auction, and myself. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Three and a half hour show. I thought it was going to take an hour and a half, but I wouldn't have wanted to spend my Sunday any other way. All right, now we're going to find somebody to raid. Do not leave. I need to check one thing real quick because I want to make sure I'm raiding into Artisan Home Goods if somebody's on. 3 p.m. I don't know. Okay, let's see if Lisa's still on. I don't know if Lisa's still on. Let's check. No, Lisa's not on anymore. But that's okay. All right, hang with me. We got a couple of people in Artisan Home Goods. I'd like to send you all over to that category if I can. If not, I get it. Okay, I got Lazy in Azalea Creations. She's got eight viewers in her show. I'm about to send her 165 people. She's in our Artisan Home Goods category. Y'all, be nice and just say raid when you show up. Don't say show me your junk because she doesn't know us yet, okay? <laughs> y'all go see what she has to sell, and I will see y'all Tuesday, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, right here on Whatnot. Bye, friends. Thank you so much.